Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Naruto. God Level Majin Buu. Chapter 81. However, it is clear that Juquan overestimated the amount of wine that Sunset Red has. As soon as her words fell, she made a, wow, sound. Letting Sunset Red spit out the shop is something Juquan doesn't want to see. So he picked up the Sunset Red, like a gust of wind, and rushed into the forest outside. Nasty, boss, don't do anything to me, gauging. Before Sunset Hong finished speaking, she hugged an innocent tree, bent over and vomited. It seems that you not only develop very much like Loli, but also have poor wine. Ju Kwan laughed teasingly, and then gently patted Sunset Hong's back. What Loli? I'm a standard young girl. If I were a Loli, would you blame Shu Huang? Quote. Sunset retorted with a red face, looking very dissatisfied. To say she is a Loli is like saying that she is not developed. This is something that an adolescent girl will never agree to. Even if I'm a weird Shumai, I won't do anything to a little Loli who is so drunk that I vomit. The corners of Ju Kwan's mouth curled up, revealing a provocative smile. Again, I'm a beautiful girl, and oh, I'm not drunk. At that level of wine, I can continue to drink three bottles. Quote. Sunset Red really couldn't stand the stimulation and was very proud. Coquettish said. She was already drunk, and even if she talked big, she was justified. You just drank one drink and get drunk like this, and if you drink three more bottles, you will go to heaven. Ju Kwan struck with the truth while patting Shi Rai Hong's back hard. Gag, bad boss, I'm not drunk, bring the wine if you don't believe it. Quote. After Sunset Red vomited, he felt much better in his stomach, so he said without admitting defeat. Before you say you're not drunk, take the trouble to cover up the blue and white stripes. Ju Kwan pointed casually and said with a playful look. There was a sudden silence in the air. Ah, bad boss, stinky boss, perverted boss. Quote. Ten seconds later, Sunset Red burst out into a hysterical scream and instantly lifted her skirt. Don't wrongly peek at me, I'm looking at it fairly. Ju Kwan spread out his hands and said with a provocative smile again. Bad boss, you have to pay for what you say. Drunk Sunset Red, when he heard this, where could he endure? Can the most secret blue and white stripes of girls be seen by men casually? Some of the angry and drunken and confused Sunset Red, regardless of whether he was good at illusion, but punched Ju Kwan's eyes. I advise you to stop, otherwise I will punish you. Ju Kwan flashed a weak pink fist and said with a smile. Then come, Sunset Red is in a state of rage, and he does not pay any attention to this threat. Okay, then you're welcome. Ju Kwan smiled slightly and grabbed the powder fist that struck again. Just a light backhand grip will firmly control the Sunset Red under him. No matter how the lowly under her wriggle, she couldn't break free. What do you want to do? Sunset swallowed her spit and asked with some fear. She struggled for a long time and found that the hand that controlled her was as motionless as steel. It was also out of the fear of being controlled, which made Sunset Red's drunkenness slightly reduced. Since you started attacking me, of course I'm going to punish you, spanking 13 style, hey. Ju Kwan replied of course, and then waved his big hand and hit the target fiercely. Quote comma comma quote. Caught off guard, Sunset Hong's whole person was stunned. Not long after, the pain in her little buttocks made her cry instantly, wow. Although Sunset Hong's tutoring is strict, even her father has never hit her, let alone a place like her little buttocks. Looking at Ju Kwan again, he showed that terrifying smile from beginning to end, which made Shi Rai Hong feel scared. Still disobedient, after Ju Kwan finished fighting, he asked with a smile. To treat disobedient lowly, we must educate and educate well. But to be honest, the feel of this lowly is really good. Even if he is obedient, he must find another reason to educate him well. Wow, whoa, Shi Rai Hong was still crying loudly, and she didn't care to answer Ju Kwan's words. The crying is so loud, I don't know if it hurts, or is scared, or both. Because since she was a child, no one has ever beaten her like this. Even if she occasionally makes mistakes at home, Sunset Jun Hong is reluctant to start. It can be said that Ju Kwan is the first man to hit her. So don't say that Shi Rai Hong is drunk now, even if she is still awake, it is estimated that she can't figure out why she is crying for a while. But fortunately, she vomited wildly just now, and she has already consumed a lot of physical strength. 
After a few minutes of crying, he fell into a deep sleep. It looks like I'm going to be a nanny again, but it's okay, I can get it back from you anyway. Seeing this, Ju Quan smiled and whispered to himself. Thinking of the sunset red of the young woman's temperament in the future, he still wanted to taste it. After a while of thinking, Ju Quan casually carried the sunset red and walked towards the bedroom. Because the posture of the sunset red just now was very good, it did not spit on the clothes, which saved a lot of trouble. But Rao is like this, Ju Quan also wasted half a day's effort. Helped Shi Rai Hong brush his teeth and change his coat by the way. I wanted to throw her directly into the bed like this, and let this lowly rest slowly by herself. But he didn't expect that Sunset Red was entangled like an octopus, and he didn't let him leave at all. Sure enough, the drunk Loli is the most clingy, and she is not honest when she sleeps. Ju Quan shook his head with a smile and hugged Sunset Red with both arms. Relying on its own strong strength, he stopped this Loli's restless wriggling. Gradually, the Sunset Red completely quieted down. She was like a kitten, obediently snuggled in Ju Quan's arms and never moved again. But this also restricted Ju Quan's actions, and it was impossible to continue to open the business, so he simply slept with Sunset Hong. The night passed quickly, and when morning came, Sunset Red, who was accustomed to waking up early, woke up first. Shish, a headache after a hangover is the first reaction of Sunset Red. When she eased up for a short time and felt that her head didn't hurt so much, she began to look at her situation. As a result, at the first glance, Sunset Hong saw the nine springs that were sleeping. The two hugged each other so close that they could even hear someone's gentle and powerful heartbeat. Shi Rai Hong admitted that for a moment, she was handsome by the face of the man in front of her. Of course, it's so handsome. After all, she is not a flower idiot who ignores handsome guys when she sees them. Wait a minute, wrong wrong, how can I hug a man? And, thinking of this, Sunset Hong looked down at herself again. Two seconds later, his brain was blank and red, as if he understood something, and suddenly burst out with an extremely sharp exclamation. Wake up and find yourself hugging a strange man. And his own coat is gone, plus it still hurts a little. All of this seems to tell Shi Rai Hong that something shameful happened last night. You're awake. Ju Quan opened his eyes and greeted with a smile. I have to say that it is quite interesting to be with this lowly. Like a little doe, it's just fun. Woohoo, you actually did this to me while I was drunk, indecent. Shameless. Sunset Red's already ruby-like eyes instantly became redder. The two small fists she clenched were like striking at Ju Quan's strong arm. But when she just woke up, where did she have any strength? It is not so much an attack as another massage for Nine Springs. If you make any more trouble, I'm really going to do something to you right now. Ju Quan said in a domineering tone, while stopping Shi Rai Hong so that her hands could no longer move. Such a threat made Sunset Hong a lot more honest. In addition to breathing relatively shortly, a pair of small hands really did not dare to move. Seeing this, Ju Quan smiled with satisfaction, and then explained, I just slept with you last night, not with you, otherwise there would be blood on the futon now. Quote. Blood. When Shi Rai Hong heard this, he looked down. I saw that it was really as Ju Quan said, the futon was clean, and there was no blood at all. What really happened last night? At this time, Sunset Hong also calmed down, raised her pitiful little face and asked. It's just that being held by Ju Quan at close range makes her little face always red, like a tomato that is too ripe to be ripe. You drank the broken piece, last night. Ju Quan smiled and told the story of last night. Among them, Sunset Red's octopus-like entanglement, as well as restless wriggling, he told very clearly, making Sunset Red blush for his drunken behavior. No, then why do I feel a little pain? Sunset Red opened her misty eyes and suddenly asked suspiciously. The pain that came from time to time made her uneasy. Because she heard that after the first time, girls also hurt. I forgot to say just now, it's because you disobeyed last night, so I hit your little buttocks as punishment, and it won't hurt if I help you rub it. Ju Quan smiled slightly, and the two big hands slowly moved over. Yeah, Sunset Red blushed her little face, and quickly stopped. Okay, okay, I think I'm fine, stop it quickly. Quote. No, I don't want you to feel, I want me to feel, 
I feel that you haven't completely recovered, let me help you recover carefully. Zhu Quan replied seriously, unmoved by Sunset Hong's words. Sunset Hong really wanted to push Zhu Quan away, but who was Zhu Quan? Even if you look at the entire ninja world, there is no one who can match Zhu Quan in strength, let alone a big lowly. Phew, didn't you say I'm a lowly? I'm not fierce and have no small buttocks, is it okay to let me go? Quote, Sunset Hong knows that it is no match in strength, so he pouts small. Mouth, begin to pretend to be pitiful. Because she feels that her current situation is really bad. It seems to be body. The body is on the verge of a collapse at any time, as if it is about to erupt at any time. But the hands and feet cannot use the strength, and the discomfort is suffocated. Let you go. All right. Quote. Ju Quan smiled and nodded in agreement, but his hand sped up the movement. This sudden behavior made Sunset Hong can't help but open her small mouth, wanting to shout but unable to scream. Gradually, her body began to tighten. Taut, small crystal feet. The toes are constantly straightened, and then straightened. Even Sunset had a feeling that she was about to explode. But at this time, Ju Quan stopped, so that Sunset Hong could not be relieved, but it was even more uncomfortable. You, the sunset has been red for you for a long time, but there has been no follow-up. As a girl, she can't take the initiative to let Juquan continue to get it, maybe it will make people think that it is a change. State. What's wrong with me? But I have already let you go, as you said. Quote. Juquan said knowingly with a playful expression. As an old driver, he is too clear about what kind of state Sunset Hong is currently in. Stopping suddenly at such a critical time will definitely make Sunset Hong unbearable to death. In fact, not only the Sunset Red, but any woman, if she is also stuck in this state, it is absolutely very collapsed. I, I'm so strange, so uncomfortable. Quote, Sunset Hong said with a good-looking thin eyebrow, looking really uncomfortable. At this time, her little face was already full of redness, and it was really true to her name, Sunset Red. Especially the look of shame and grievance, it makes people can't help but want to bully her more. I can see that you are very uncomfortable, but now I haven't touched you, don't lie to me. Ju Quan smiled and spread his hands to show his innocence. He knew very well that the little one in front of him was almost spoiled by him. But the initiative is in his hands, so there is never a hurry. Please, please help me like you just now. Sunset Red clenched her silver teeth, her little face filled with a look of thirst. Ashamed expression. If you put it in normal times, you can't say such things when you beat her to death, but who let her be stuck at the critical point? That feeling of not going up or down is definitely something that no woman wants to experience. So even if it's ashamed. Ashamed, Shi Rai Hong still made such a request to Ju Quan. What else could she do? She was also desperate to say such a request. As a little lowly, Sunset Hong thinks that from this moment on, she has fallen. Want me to help? Yes, but you begged me on your own initiative. Quote. Ju Quan seemed to suddenly realize, but his expression then became playful. As Sunset Hong began to make such a request, Ju Quan knew that this lowly was about to fall. But it is obviously very unwise to eat her at this time. Because the first pain is likely to make the sunset red at the critical point, leaving a psychological shadow. So Ju Quan decided to give this little lowly some sweetness first, so that she could taste it. After repeating this several times, I am afraid that this happy feeling will not be forgotten by Shi Rai Hong. Although the process may be a little slower, the fun in this should be cultivated by Loli. After thinking clearly, Ju Quan put his hand on Sunset Red's little buttocks again. In less than a minute, he felt the Sunset Red in his arms. Then the little lowly like body completely softened. After resting for a while again, Sunset decided to go home. In addition to going out on missions before, she had never stayed up at night. Bad boss, this is our secret, don't tell it, otherwise my father will be very angry and the consequences will be serious. Before Shi Rai Hong left, he said with a very serious face. After all, in her opinion, what happened before was very shameful. Human. With her father's status, even a wealthy family like Uchiha and Hanada will give three thin noodles. If her father knew about this, I am afraid that this boss would have to shed his skin if he didn't die. Isn't your father already? Well, don't worry, your father should not be able to help me. Quote. 
Zhu Quan was halfway through speaking, and suddenly changed his tone. Underscore. To see the ununderlined version of the novel, please download the Philu novel AP. Who is Sunset Red's father? Naturally, it is Konoha's elite shinobu, the sunset is really red. The daughter of the sunset true red is called Sunset Red, if it is passed on again, will it be the sunset false red? Even people like Juquan, who are not good at naming names, feel that this name is too distracting. Well, missed. Juquan knows that in the original work, the Sunset True Red has been sacrificed on the Night of the Nine Tails. But now it seems clear that people are still alive and well. In other words, it should be that when Juquan hit the Nine Tails, it indirectly changed the fate of Sunset True Red. If you explain it this way, it is not surprising that Sunset True Red is still alive, and Juquan poured, 3, 4, 3. My name is Yuri Hong, and my father's name is Yuhi Junhong, but I am an elite ninja of the upper ninja level. Shi Rai Hong looked at Ju Quan with a look of indifference, so he revealed his identity, wanting to scare Ju Quan and make Ju Quan pay attention. Well, I see, and by the way, my name is Ju Quan. Ju Quan naturally knew that Sunset Hong was for his own good, but he did not feel afraid, not even the slightest. After all, the elite ninja of this level, Ju Quan does not know how much he killed. Could it be that he would still be afraid of a Sunset True Red? Nine Springs, this name is so familiar, I remembered it, the black robe powerhouse who has recently done a lot of big things in the ninja world is also called Juquan, I didn't expect you to have the same name. Quote. Sunset Hong patted his little head and suddenly said as if he remembered. She would never have thought that this boss in front of her was the real black robe Juquan. It is no wonder that the Sunset Red Society thinks so, because the usual Nine Springs are hiding their chakra and chi. Otherwise, once his chakra is accidentally leaked, even a small part of it will easily cause panic. Therefore, in the face of the Nine Springs in his normal state, ordinary ninjas will only think that he is an ordinary person. Unless it is a specialized sentient ninja, or a strong person whose strength has reached a certain level, it is possible to be aware. Well, you go home early. Ju Quan smiled and didn't explain anything too much. Sunset Hong doesn't believe that he is a black rogue, he can't follow Yenian village and blow up half of Konoha to prove himself, right? If you do that, Sunset Red will destroy Konoha. As for Juquan, who dares to blame him? The strong are privileged everywhere, at least on the surface, no one dares to say a word about Juquan. To be honest these days, people often don't believe it. After sending off the Sunset Red, Juquan shook his head with a smile and looked into the courtyard. Yi Kang was cleaning the fallen leaves on the other side of the yard, and was swept by Ju Quan's gaze, looking a little trembling. Yi Kang actually didn't know how to face Ju Quan since he was in the bath. After being forced to act as a sponge in the room, it actually gave her a feeling she had never experienced before. But the process was too embarrassing, making her embarrassed, and she always wanted to avoid Ju Quan. It's just that the residence in Ju Quan is really not big, Everyone looks up and doesn't look down, how can they avoid it? Yi Kang, I've been tired for a long time, I'm a little tired, help me get a massage. Ju Quan flashed, appeared behind Yi Kang, and said with a smile. Although Ju Quan gave the sunset red sweetness, during the period, he was also swollen by the sticky posture of this little lowly. Sure enough, it's better to vent. Otherwise, it's really upset. You, didn't sleep with that lowly last night, how, still want a massage? Quote. Yi Kang looked a little flustered, and secretly sighed in his heart that those who should come always had to come, and they couldn't avoid it. The last time she helped Ju Quan do a massage, she was almost eaten dry and wiped clean. This time, it is not yet known what is going to happen. I just slept with her, not with her. Ju Quan was close to Yi Kang's body. Body, explained in her reddened ear. After blowing lightly on the hot breath, Ju Quan continued, I don't like to bully a drunken lowly, but I'm more interested in bullying you. Quote, I don't know why, Yi Kang listened to this sentence, and his panicked heart actually inexplicably surged with a hint of joy. It's just that this trace of joy was quickly suppressed by Ju Quan's actions. At this time, Ju Quan had already pushed Yi Kang to the wall, and his arms were propped up to both sides, not allowing Yi Kang to have the slightest space to hide. Don't be like this, it's time for lunch. Yi Kang begged to change the topic, hoping to avoid. 
She had already felt the heat of Xiao Juquan, and something would really happen in this situation. Hungry. Then I'll give you something to eat. Quote. Juquan smiled honey and said meaningfully. Well, okay, then you go down and give me food. Quote. Yi Kang thought that he could escape the disaster, and said a little naively. Don't bother so much, let's start eating now. As she spoke, Ju Quan's hands had already pressed on Yi Kang's shoulders, forcing her body to sink slowly. When Yi Kang raised his head again, he saw that familiar and terrifying smile on Ju Quan's face again. Even no matter how naive Yi Kang was, he knew that the below, she said, and the below, she thought were completely different things. Looking at the small Ju Quan that was close at hand, and the temperature coming from above, Yi Kang was scared, gritting his teeth and fighting hard. Such resistance is not the behavior of a good maid. Ju Quan said while rubbing his chin as he prepared to change his strategy. Otherwise, with the current situation of the two, I am afraid that the stalemate will not result until dark. This time, I, but you didn't make a mistake, you can't do that to me. Quote. Yi Kang did not dare to open his mouth, and could only reply intermittently from between his teeth. She also really felt that she was very unlucky, this time obviously nothing happened, but she was still bullied like this. And the most frightening thing is that Ju Quan bullied her ruler. The degree is getting bigger and bigger. At this rate, I am afraid that the next time, she will completely lose her precious first time. Don't you understand yet, as my maid, I say you are right, you are right, on the contrary, I say you are wrong, you are wrong. Ju Quan explained with a smile, and then tried again, but he was still blocked out. The second time he failed, he could only lightly slap Yi Kang's face a few times to express his dissatisfaction. Not with a hand shot, of course. This behavior made Yi Kang feel a thick shame. Shame. It made the blush on her face more pronounced, just like the drunken sunset read before. Or it gives the impression that blood can come out with a slight pinch on her face. Xiao Nan is still here, it's not good for you to do this, and you can ask her to help. Yi Kang felt that he couldn't sit still, so he shifted the topic to Xiao Nan. In her opinion, Ju Quan and Xiao Nan are a couple, after all, they used to sing night and night. If Xiao Nan was put out, Ju Quan would definitely have some scruples and let her go. Who knew that Xiao Nan was on the balcony on the second floor, and after hearing Yi Kang's words in the yard, he said from a distance, I just finished eating chili, and that one is also here, I really can't help as a maid, I must do my duty. Quote. After that, Xiao Nan fled back to the house, and muttered in a low voice, someone can help share it, and the fool will stop it. Quote. It turned out that Xiao Nan had long known Yi Kang's intentions. If it had been earlier, Xiao Nan's would have blocked. The reason is still that, no woman wants to share it from. But for now, she wished someone had shared it for her. After all, being made dizzy by unbearable tarts every day is something that a person can't stand it. And even so, she still failed to squeeze Ju Quan dry. Xiao Nan thinks that she is very useless, and every time she thinks that she can't even satisfy her own man, she feels that her life is full of frustration. No wonder Tsunade hasn't been in trouble with me. Suddenly, Xiao Nan seemed to understand something. Although Conan's relationship with Kuizumi did not take the initiative to say, she did not think that Tsunade knew anything. On the contrary, with Tsunade's meticulous mind, he must have known about this matter for a long time. It stands to reason that the fire of Tsunade, explosive personality, if you know the relationship between Xiao Nan and Ju Quan, how to say it, you have to find Xiao Nan to fight. After all, Xiao Nan can also be regarded as the man who robbed Tsunade. However, the reality is that Tsunade did not fight her. Even if Tsunade bumps into her by chance, he will take the initiative to say hello like a good friend. So it is, it seems that Tsunade and I have the same idea, and I also want to find someone to share it, so I don't pay attention to it, after all, even my own man can't be satisfied, it's really full of frustration. Conan, who guessed Tsunade's thoughts, smiled a little slyly. But soon, she fell into the shadow of frustration again, unable to extricate herself. In the courtyard on the other side, Yi Kang heard Xiao Nan's okay, okay almost acquiescent words, and suddenly felt that his three views were about to be shattered. Wouldn't Xiao Nan be jealous? According to the normal situation, shouldn't Xiao Nan come out to stop Ju Quan? 
The stunned Yi Kang thought for a long time, but still couldn't understand what Xiao Nan was thinking. In fact, it's normal not to understand now, and after Yi Kang is also made unbearable by Xiao Juquan, she should be able to understand Xiao Nan's thoughts. It seems that Xiao Nan can't help me, and I still need you, the maid, to do it for me. At this time, Yi Kang's familiar voice sounded in Ju Quan's ears again, making her tremble. Underscore. Don't, don't do this, stop bullying me. Yi Kang shook his head desperately, and his words were full of pleading tones. If it goes on like this, she can already foresee that she herself will soon be eaten dry. Faced with one successive obstacles, Ju Quan simply pressed Yi Kang firmly against the corner of the wall, preventing her from moving. Then he kept grinding slowly on the side of her mouth in order to find a breakthrough. Yi Kang's whole person was almost stunned, because she was in a squatting position, causing her legs to be greatly separated, and it looked more like she was going to take the initiative to clamp Ju Quan. And since Yi Kang was wearing a short skirt, this squatting posture made her little fat second perfectly exposed to the air, as long as Ju Quan lowered her head slightly, she could see it unobstructed ly. In short, this posture now makes her feel extremely ashamed. Shame. But if it is changed to a kneeling position, it represents Yi Kang's obedience. It's like during the Warring States period, those women would kneel in front of the master and then use their bodies. Body, go and please the owner to the fullest. In that case, it's better to squat. However, what made Yi Kang feel most devastated was the thing that was grinding in his mouth. That's suffocating. The heat of the breath made her consciousness almost blurred. Yi Kang was sure that as long as she dared to relax her teeth a little, something very bad would definitely happen in the next second. Your behavior of resisting like this really troubles me, and it seems that it is necessary to use a little means. Ju Quan smiled, and then his eyes narrowed, filled with a dangerous aura. Means. When Yi Kang heard this, his body trembled again, not knowing what means Ju Quan would use against her. CBFB, is Ju Quan going to use violence against me and then forcibly give me too? When Yi Kang thought of this, he closed his eyes with some fear. Her strength is not comparable to Ju Quan, if she takes coercive measures, then she really has no way to resist. Weak, the corners of Ju Quan's mouth curled up, and he activated the unique ability of his 10,000 eyes and right eye. Once the weakness is launched, it will forcibly deprive the target of its essence force, so that the other party falls into a state of weakness. Ju Quan rarely used this ability, but he didn't think about it, but he used this ability on Yi Kang. What's wrong with me? Yi Kang asked with some disbelief, she could clearly feel that the physical strength of her whole body was rapidly passing. In just a few seconds, she could only collapse weakly against the wall, unable to even lift her arms. What made her feel most terrifying was that she couldn't clench her teeth now. It's just a little trick to get you to talk, now let's get into the useless Q&A. Ju Quan explained with a smile and jerked forward. What, whoosh, quote, before Yi Kang could understand what was useless in question and answer, she had already been captured. This time, there was no longer any obstruction, and Ju Quan easily broke through. Phew, Yi Kang's eyes widened sharply, and he suddenly suffocated. Breath, so that she could no longer make another sound. It is worth mentioning that just after the breakthrough of Juquan, Yi Kang's physical strength returned. It may also be the reason why she has already confessed her fate, so that she has not made up her mind to bite down. Although Yi Kang didn't know that even if she bit down, it was just painless for Juquan. In the following time, Yi Kang could only cling to Juquan, forced to open his mouth, and helplessly accepted the tarts over and over again. I don't know if it was an hour or two hours, and everything was finally over. But because it was too deep, Yi Kang was not allowed to spit it out at all, but she accidentally swallowed it. Hiccup. When the nine springs were over, because Yi Kang also swallowed a lot of air, he burped by the way. It's like eating a lot of food until you can't eat any more and you are satisfied. It looks like you're enjoying it, I'll feed you more in the future. Ju Quan who had just finished venting, laughed a little playfully. He didn't expect that Yi Kang would actually make such a sound, as if he had drunk enough. Who would enjoy this kind of thing? Yi Kang half propped himself on the ground and retorted weakly. Although she said that, the special taste in her mouth still made her involuntarily rise a strange feeling. Once again breaking through Yi Kang's bottom line, 
Zhu Quan said that he was in a good mood and was ready to make a roast chicken to eat. As everyone knows, in another part of Konoha, someone has secretly remembered him. After sunset Hong returned home, he was like a thief, with gentle steps. She no longer walked in the door and said, I'm back. Instead, he tried his best to hide his breath so that he would not be discovered. It's just that with her ordinary Zongnan strength, how can she hide the strength of her father's elite shinobi? At the moment when Sunset Hong just entered the door, Sunset Junhong knew, and even her mother, Sunset Haruko, knew. His daughter didn't return all night, and now this gesture is when she enters the door, how can she not make him suspicious? Isn't my daughter supposed to have a boyfriend? Sunset Haruko covered her mouth and whispered surprise. Then she didn't return all night, shouldn't it be, she's still a child. Quote. Sunset Junhong followed his wife's words, continued to think about it, and suddenly scolded angrily. A girl who didn't come home for a while, now goes home secretly, as if she is afraid of being known by her parents. Obviously, this is a manifestation of doing something, and then having a weak heart. My daughter is only 15 years old, and although it is normal for adolescent girls to fall in love, it is indeed too early to start staying up at night. Haruko Sunset was also worried on the side, very afraid that someone would teach her daughter badly. Don't worry, when she goes out again, I will follow her. Sunset Junhong frowned, paused and continued, I want to see who dares to teach my daughter badly. Quote. Upstairs, inside the bedroom of Sunset Red. When he went upstairs just now, it was quiet, and Sunset Hong thought that he had not attracted the attention of his parents. So she breathed a long sigh of relief and replaced the little fat blue and white stripes that had long been soaked, otherwise it would be too sticky and uncomfortable. It's really undisputed, I would actually react that way. Sunset Hong secretly scolded herself while washing her little fat times. Now, whenever Sunset Hong thought of the scene when she erupted in Ju Kwan's hands, her face involuntarily blushed. How will I meet people in the future? Red, I'm back from a mission, please go to dinner. Quote. Coincidentally, at this time, a word was shouted outside the door of the Japanese family. Okay, wait a minute. Sunset Red replied at the window, and then splashed cool water on her face, forcing the blush on her face to subside. It wasn't until she couldn't see anything anymore that she was relieved. At the same time, the ears of the setting sun really red pricked up and followed silently. Although his daughter only went out with a friend, he still had to go out with him to see if he could find any useful clues. Hong, let's go shopping first, and when it's evening, I'll take you to that particularly delicious restaurant. Hongdu saw the sunset red and said with some excitement. But when she thought that she still owed the boss ten small buttocks, she couldn't help but hesitate. As everyone knows, Yi Kang has already helped her return to the account of the ten small buttocks, although it is forced. Are you talking about the restaurant that only opens in the middle of the night? Sunset Hong asked. Of course, only the cuisine there is real cuisine. Hongdu nodded and said, giving the highest evaluation of Ju Quan's craftsmanship. Although the boss always bullies her, the craftsmanship is really not said, and any dish can make her linger. Actually, I went to the evening yesterday, it was indeed a super delicious dish, now that I think about it, it seems that I haven't paid for it after eating that boss's meal. Sunset Hong couldn't help but think of the scene of stealing food, and her little face was red again. If she hadn't eaten and drunk yesterday, perhaps many of the things that followed wouldn't have happened. However, these words have a different meaning in the ears of red beans. When the red beans had no money to pay for the meal before, the boss made her act as a maid to settle the debt, and also used chakra to make her very strange. Thinking of his previous experience, Hongdu hurriedly asked, that boss didn't do anything strange to you. Quote. Of course not, Shi Rai Hong immediately denied it, and she didn't say a word about her being sprayed, as if nothing had happened. This kind of thing, even if the other party is their own good friend, can never be said. But why does Red Bean ask itself that? Shi Rai Hong was a little curious and asked rhetorically, could it be that the boss did something strange to you? Quote. Ha, huh, no, how could it be? Hongdu smiled a little embarrassed, and she also chose not to mention what happened before. Phew, it seems that the boss Ju Quan will only bully me alone, is this considered a special treatment? To Spring, Lori, who was with a budding heart, 
thought so in unison, and then went shopping together with their hearts. Restaurant, Sunset Junhong, who quietly followed his daughter, appeared on the street corner. He felt that the reason why his daughter stayed up at night was in this restaurant. Underscore. Why does a restaurant that only opens in the middle of the night feel a little familiar? Sunset True Red didn't feel anything at first, but after a while, he gradually felt that something was wrong. It seems that the black robe powerhouse Juquan also opened a restaurant that opened in the middle of the night. It's terrifying to think about. Sunset was really red and startled, and suddenly felt cold sweat. Black Robe Juquan opened a restaurant that was only open in the middle of the night, and accepted various high-level task commissions by the way. This matter is generally only known to the high-level officials of the major ninja villages. Although Sunset True Red is not the high level of Konoha, but the villains are also, 3, 4, 3, or Elite Shinobi, and they know a little more. If it was really that Black Robe Juquan restaurant, then he was so rash to find it. Sunset Maka didn't dare to imagine what disaster Konoha would bring because of his rashness. After all, the previous example was there, wasn't Yun Ren because of the conflict between words of the Nine Springs, and then destroyed half of Union Village. But then again, although the village is very important, it concerns his daughter, and he, the father, can't ignore it, right? Although that black-robed Nine Springs is very powerful, it is known as the god of the ninja world in this era. Such an existence is logically more than enough for any woman. But how is the person of the black robe Juquan, Sunset Junhong has not been contacted, and he really does not dare to guarantee. What if that black robe Juquan is a bad person and abandons his daughter all the time? With the strength of Sunset True Red, it is okay to fight ordinary ninjas, but in the face of the black robe Juquan, he has absolutely no hope of helping his daughter back up. For a while, Sunset True Red fell into a deep entanglement. Juquan is in a good mood now, ready to make a roast chicken meal. Then on the way back, I found this Sunset True Red who was trailing too lowly. If it weren't for that red pupil, I would have taken him for an idiot. Han was destroyed. Think about it, this tailgating idiot. Han should be the Sunset Red. It seems that the Sunset and the Red Knight do not return, and they have won the suspicion of the family. So what is happening now is that the father follows his daughter to catch it. The drama of adultery is over. After a little analysis, Juquan knew the reason why she was here. In order to be able to adjust the sunset without hindrance in the future, he decided to play a righteous gentleman. So Juquan pretended not to know anything, walked silently behind Sunset Junhong, patted him lightly and heavily, and said, You have been following too little lowly for half a day, shouldn't you be a tailgating idiot? Han, right, quote. At this time, Ju Quan's expression had changed into a look of displeasure, and the unique tailed beast chakra on his body had faintly rioted. If it seemed in the eyes of others, Ju Quan was obviously angry now, and seemed to be ready to eliminate the middle-aged, idiot, of Sunset True Red. Han. But this is also Ju Quan's routine, so that Sunset Junhong recognizes him as the black-robed Ju Quan, and he is also an honest and good person. Only in this way can Sunset Junhong completely rest assured to hand over her daughter to herself. You are, Sunset was really red and looked back with some surprise. He is the strength of the elite shinobi, although he thought about things a little distracted just now, but he will not be approached, and he will not notice it at all. There is only one possibility, this young man in front of him is not an ordinary person. I'm just an ordinary restaurant owner. Ju Quan reminded quietly. Restaurant owner. I've been to many restaurants, but I haven't seen you. When it came to the restaurant, Sunset True Red's expression became obviously solemn, and what he was thinking about just now was the black-robed Juquan who opened the restaurant. After he came back to his senses, he took a closer look at the young man in front of him. The substance-like chakra made Sunset True Red feel more and more familiar. That black-robed powerhouse had also used a tail beast cannon, almost exactly the same as the young man's chakra in front of him. Not such a coincidence, right? The more he looked at the sunset, the more he realized that the young man in front of him was like the black-robed nine springs of the Night of the Nine Tails. It's normal that you haven't seen me, because my restaurant only opens in the middle of the night, as for you idiot. Han, get ready to accept sanctions. Ju Quan said lightly, prompting everything that should be prompted. Between words, he almost told Sunset Junhong that he was a black-robed Juquan. 
So that's the case, it's not enough for your excellency to misunderstand, I'm not some kind of trailing idiot. Chinese. Quote. Sunset Junhong hurriedly explained, and cold sweat once again spread all over his body. He could see that the young man in front of him was really the black robe nine springs that shocked the entire ninja world. However, Ju Quan did not explicitly announce his identity, and Sunset Junhong did not dare to easily debunk it, so as not to provoke the dissatisfaction of this strong man. Underscore. Did you see that little girl with ruby eyes? It was my daughter, and I just came out to follow her because I was worried about her safety. Quote. In order to clarify the misunderstanding, Sunset Junhong further explained. Although he did not dare to debunk Ju Quan's identity, he could make his identity clear so that Ju Quan would no longer suspect. And at this time, Sunset Junhong had actually decided that Ju Quan was a good person. If it weren't for the good guys, Ju Quan wouldn't have stopped Sunset true red stalking behavior. For such a good person with integrity, Sunset Junhong is completely relieved. Because he firmly believes that Ju Quan will not let his daughter suffer. So that's the case, no wonder your eyes are red, not tracking behavior is always bad, it's easy to misunderstand. Seeing that the goal had been achieved, Ju Quan said smoothly and righteously. The expression also changed from displeasure at the beginning to understanding naturally. The transition between the entire expressions can be said to be natural and seamless. If the Hokage world has an award for the little golden man, then there must be one of the nine springs. Your Excellency, rest assured, this kind of thing will not happen again in the future, after all, the daughter has grown up and has her own choices. Sunset True Red immediately assured, making it clear that she would not follow Sunset Red in the future. After the misunderstanding was resolved, because of the way, Ju Quan also chatted with Sunset Junhong. During this period, Ju Quan also explained the reason why the Sunset and Red Knight did not return, stealing alcohol, and as a result, getting drunk. Then, because Ju Quan was worried that something was wrong with this little lowly, he let her stay at her house for a night. Of course, for the matter of playing with people's daughters to spray water, Ju Quan will definitely not mention a word. In short, all the content of the conversation is guiding the thoughts of Sunset True Red as Ju Quan is a good person, and Sunset Hong is chasing Ju Quan backwards. After a simple conversation, whether it was the ninth grade or the strength, the more satisfied the Sunset True Red looked. If his daughter is dating Ju Quan, then he really doesn't worry. However, the only problem at the moment is that Ju shows male and female feelings for his daughter. It seems that his daughter's pursuit is not enough. Well, it seems that in the future, I have to let my daughter go home as little as possible and encourage her to stay in Ju Quan more. Maybe as soon as they come and go, the two will become one. After making up his mind, the sunset was really red, and he parted with Ju Quan at the fork in the road. Next, just wait for the sunset red little lowly to take the initiative to deliver it to the door. Ju Quan looked at the distant sunset true red, and smiled to himself. Hatchet. At the same time, Sunset Hong, who was shopping, gently pinched her little Chong nose. At this time, she didn't know that her father had been dealt with by Ju Quan, and she was thinking about how to sell herself. It soon was midnight again, and the restaurant in Ju Quan was open normally. Boss, are you making roast chicken? It tastes so fragrant. Sunset Red and Red Bean came as if they were stepping on a point, and asked with glowing eyes as soon as they entered the door. That's right, but people who pay bills have no good fortune. Ju Quan smiled slightly, and then specially fanned the roasted chicken that had just been roasted. The intoxicating fragrance emitted by the golden skin slowly drifted towards the sunset red and red beans, which caused the two lowly to be hungry for a while. However, Ju Quan's words reminded them. For Hongdu, she thought that this was Ju Quan reminding her of the ten little buttocks last time. However, Hongdu is also a little aggrieved. Last time was really a special situation, if she was hit on the buttocks, she could not go to the task. For Shi Rai Hong, she really didn't pay for her meal yesterday night. But when she thought of yesterday night, Sunset Hong would automatically think of what happened after getting drunk, which made her feel ashamed for a while. Ashamed. The same word, in the sound of red beans and sunset red, although the meaning is different, but they have the same reaction, blush. I'll pay it back. The two blushing lowly shouted in unison. After shouting, Sunset Hong and Red Bean looked at each other, 
and at the same time found a strange blush on each other's faces, and couldn't help but be stunned. Doc Tai Sengtakviet.tk. She has something to do with the boss. Sunset Red and Red Bean thought the same thing, and when they looked at each other again, their eyes were full of strange and complicated emotions. That kind of look is like saying, I treat you as a good friend, you actually lie to me. After all, when the two people were shopping before, what they kept saying to each other was, they had nothing to do with Juquan. But now it seems clear that the other party lied. As an adolescent lowly, she is inherently sensitive in this regard. Sense, not to mention such an obvious feature as, blush. Sunset Red and Red Beans were originally stirred by Juquan's unique temperament and handsomeness. Coupled with Juquan's bad, bullying, of them, they felt the happy feeling of the first monarchy of their lives. Therefore, these two adolescent lowly have a different kind of affection for Juquan. But now, seeing that good friends also have a good impression of Juquan naturally makes them feel uncomfortable. It's as if his own man was robbed by a love rival. If there are rivals, there will be competition. Where there is competition, there will be contrast. For example, now, Red Bean is younger than me, but the figure is indeed much better than mine. I haven't noticed before, how do the two obscene murderous parts of Red Beans grow? It's actually so big. I heard that men like big ones, and it is estimated that Juquan also likes big ones, and I seem to be completely incompetitive. But it doesn't matter, I look cuter than Red Bean, and Juquan should also like the lowly girl. Sunset Hong looked at the murder weapon of the Red Bean, and then looked at his own, and suddenly felt that there was no comparison at all, and he could only look for advantages from other aspects. Not only is the Sunset Red comparing, but at the same time, the Red Bean is also analyzing the intelligence of good friends for the first time. The red face of the Sunset is indeed so cute, especially the ruby eyes. In this comparison, I have no advantage. However, I am fierce and well-developed, and this is also the washboard of Sunset Red. Red Bean grabbed the cute little pink fist, and silently cheered himself up while thinking in his heart. Just as Red Beans and Sunset Red were cheering each other and cheering themselves, the door behind the restaurant opened. Do you still need my help today? Yi Kang entered the restaurant from the courtyard, and said with a strange blush on his face. Usually, when the restaurant opens, Hakura is asked to help at the restaurant. Of course, because there are no guests most of the time, her main job is to help Juquan pinch her shoulders and beat her legs. Originally, Yi Kang, who had just been poured with nectar by Juquan in the afternoon, really didn't want to take the initiative to come over. But she was afraid that Juquan would further punish herself because she didn't come to help. So even though he was embarrassed, Yi Kang still came over. But as soon as she saw Juquan, that special taste appeared in her mind again, and it lingered for a long time. What made Yi Kang feel most embarrassed was her body. The body actually reacted strangely because of this. Even in her mind, she kept feeding back a signal, drink again. It's just that this kind of signal was temporarily suppressed by Yi Kang's reason. As for Sunset Red and Red Bean's gaze, it had already shifted to her from the moment Yi Kang appeared. Yi Kang's beautiful face, three points playful and cute, seven points mature and feminine. Flatter. More importantly, the evil murder weapon under Yi Kang's face was twice as big as the Red Bean. It's so evil. Sunset Hong couldn't help but swallow her spit and said dumbly. Yes, what a great evil. The Red Bean's next did her open and small. Mouth, muttered in agreement. Hongdu had seen Yi Kang before, and he was surprised at that time. It's just that at that time, because she had to avoid hitting the account of the little buttocks, she didn't have time to think about it. Now it seems that Yi Kang, okay, okay, is the most threatening love rival. Although Yi Kang had spoken for Hongdu before, in the face of love, Hongdu said that he would never be humble. But what now? Sunset Red and Red Doe thought a little helplessly, originally they thought that only each other's existence she. In other words, as long as the competition exceeds the other party, it is equivalent to solving the love rival. Then this bad boss, Juquan, has become his exclusive. But now there is a Yi Kang who is mature and perfect in both face and figure. For a time, let the red bean Sunset Red fall into distress. No, in the face of that beautiful woman in the murderous department, there is no advantage at all. Yi Kang's appearance did cause a lot of blows to Red Bean and Sunset Red, making them completely lose the high mood when they first came. 
However, Yi Kang didn't think so much in the face of these two adolescent lowly. She is now busy trying to calm the strange feeling in her body and let herself go. The body is strange, her fat times are about to be watery. There are only two roast chickens, since you two said that you will pay back the bill you lost last time, then count the two of you, the four of us, one and a half. After Ju Quan finished speaking, he swiped his finger, and the roasted chicken was roasted into gold, as if it had been cut by a sharp blade, evenly divided into two halves, and the two roast chickens were divided into four halves in total. Finally, put the roast chicken on a plate and push it in front of Yi Kang, Sunset Red, and Red Beans respectively. Thank you boss, Ju Quan. The aroma of the food made the Sunset Red and Red Beans feel a little more uplifted, and a flash of light flashed in their eyes, and they buried their heads and ate. Great food, Yi Kang also said politely, and the evil that shook inadvertently caused Sunset Red and Red Bean to look at each other with envy. When can I have so much evil? Big sister, my name is Shi Rai Hong, what is your name? During the banquet, Sunset Hong raised her small face, showed a very cute look, and asked with ruby eyes. Sunset Hong has never seen Yi Kang, let alone Yi Kang's identity. Compared to Red Beans, Yi Kang is obviously more threatening, so Shi Rai Hong decides to explore the enemy's reality first. Yu Gai is usually a very girly personality, what a cute lowly. Seeing this, Red Beans are small. His mouth pursed, but he didn't say it. She has known Shi Rai Hong for a long time, and she can naturally guess what this good friend is thinking. It's just that Sunset Red's pretend cute look really makes Red Bean a little unhappy. I, it's called Yi Kang, it's the maid here. Quote, Yi Kang was stunned when he heard the question, and his tone was a little unnatural. Under the table, her legs tightened with her body. Somatic reactions fight. Ju Quan glanced at Yi Kang with a smile and decided to add some ingredients. So he secretly stretched out an evil hand, and Yi Kang removed. Quote comma comma exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. The sudden hand made Yi Kang's eyes widen suddenly, but due to the presence of Red Bean and Sunset Red, she couldn't have a seizure, so she could only endure it silently. Maid, sure enough, this one has two big evil masses. Evil women have innate advantages. This is troublesome, what should I do? Shi Rai Hong didn't notice the small movements under the table, and her little head was spinning rapidly at the moment. CBFB, the phrase that the near-water building platform gets the moon first, although the Sunset Red can't say it, but the truth is understood. It's hard to work every day, by the way, where do you live? The Red Bean next to him first greeted, and then asked casually. All just, stay here. Quote, Yi Kang gritted her silver teeth and replied, if she could, she really didn't want to speak. Originally, she had suppressed that strange feeling. But because of Ju Quan's raging hand, that strange feeling came again, even stronger than before. Yi Kang was now using all his energy to fight that strange feeling. If she said more, or was distracted, she would probably not be able to bear it. What? Just live here. Quote, hearing Yi Kang's answer, Sunset Red and Red Bean couldn't help but exclaim, and glanced at each other in surprise. Both of them saw a strong sense of threat in each other's eyes. What a coincidence, I'm also moving recently, and I will move to this neighborhood, and I can find Sister Yi Kang to play with me then. Hongdu rolled his eyes and suddenly said slyly. Hum. Yi Kang no longer dared to speak, so he could only nod with a smile and respond with a vague voice from his throat. Red beans are so cunning. Sunset huffed and puffed out, and then regretted it, how could she not think of the reason to move earlier? However, when I thought of the usually strict Sunset Red at home, Sunset Hong's heart beat drums again. Can her father allow her to move out? In the end, Sunset decided that no matter what the outcome, she had to try. Underscore. Ju Quan is invading without a trace, and Yi Kang is struggling to resist under the table. Sunset Red and Red Bean are brainstorming and thinking about how to make Ju Quan their own. Among the four people, each has its own things, which also causes this night snack to eat unusually slowly. It wasn't until two hours later that several people finally finished eating all the roast chicken. Hey, Sunset Hong sighed secretly, thinking that after he left, Ju Quan would face Yi Kang, a woman with two huge and evil masses, alone. Really, I still can't feel at ease. It's too late outside, 
My home is far from here, it may be dangerous to go back, is it okay to stay overnight at the boss's place today? The red bean next to him said as if premeditated. In Hongdu's opinion, if she can stay here in Juquan at night, then she can not only take the opportunity to settle the debts she had beaten her little buttocks before, but also be able to observe the relationship between Ju Quan and Yi Kang up close, which is really a double kill. Too cunning. Still, can there be danger? You red beans are also a middle endurant, what about liars? It is clear that he wants to stay and complete some ulterior purposes. When Shi Rai Hong heard this proposal, she subconsciously complained in her heart. Then she remembered something, her eyes suddenly lit up, and she echoed, That's right, girls come home so late, it is indeed easy to be dangerous, I heard that some time ago, there were many disappearances in Konoha. Quote. After speaking, the red eyes of the sunset looked at Ju Quan hopefully, like a kitten who has been homeless, which made people can't help but pity. Quote, comma, comma, quote. Hongdu looked at Shi Rai Hong with some suspicion, not knowing why this, love enemy, would help him speak. And the fear of danger at night is just an excuse made up by red beans. But when Sunset Red said this, Hongdu really felt a little gloomy, and made up his mind to stay. Some time ago, there were indeed some disappearances in Konoha. The missing people were all like evaporation, and they have not been heard from since. However, all this happened before Orochimaru defected. Since Orochimaru's defection, his human experiment program in Konoha was terminated, and Konoha has not disappeared again. In order to reduce panic, the Konoha high level only announced the defection of Orochimaru, and all other news was blocked. So something like missing people, even if even Red Bean doesn't know what's going on, it's normal to be afraid. Ju Quan has long been an old driver, and he saw through the thoughts of Red Beans and Sunset Red at a glance, so he said with a smile, Okay, anyway, I have to be open at night, I can't go back to sleep, you guys stay in my bedroom. Quote. Okay, we'll spend the night in your bedroom. Sunset Red seemed to have succeeded in a conspiracy, and her little face was full of cunning. I, we, quote, Hongdu was stunned after listening to it, and at this moment, she finally understood why Shirahong would help her speak. Originally, Hongdu thought that Sunset Hong's brain twitched, and he would help himself as an enemy to speak. But now it seems that Sunset Red has already had a plan. One Yi Kang is enough to give her a headache, if she adds a Sunset Red, then her plan for tonight will be difficult to implement. Thinking of this, Hongdu's eyes narrowed and stopped. If you don't go home at night, I'm afraid my uncle and aunt will be very worried, so it's better to go back. Quote. It's okay, occasionally sleep with my best friend, my parents won't worry. Shi Rai Hong thought of her parents, although she was a little weak-hearted, she still nodded firmly. Hongdu's personality is relatively bold, commonly known as the nerve strip, and he cheekily offers to stay overnight, which makes Shiri Hong feel a lot of pressure. If she doesn't do something, I'm afraid that Ju Quan has not been taken away by Yi Kang, and will also have to be snatched away by red beans. So Sunset Red also proposed to stay overnight together, at least to take care of red beans. Hee <laughs> hee, you are really my good friend, the best, good. Friend, friend, quote. Red Doe gritted his small teeth and said, the last few words were almost squeezed out from between his teeth. Being able to make such a good friend made her feel that she had definitely made a great sin in her previous life. With the light bulb of Sunset Red, Red Bean has lost hope in tonight's plan. Ju Quan, where is your bedroom? Sunset Red pretended to snort, looking sleepy. In fact, she wanted to hurry up to take advantage of the terrain and avoid accidents along the way. As the boss's name Ju Quan, I always think I've heard this name somewhere. Red Bean was stunned, trying to recall in his little head. It turns out that you don't even know the name of the boss, hee <laughs> hee. Sunset Hong was also stunned, and then laughed softly. I didn't even figure out the basic information, what are you fighting with me? I have to say that a love rival who didn't even know the name of Ju Quan made Shi Rai Hong suddenly feel much more relaxed. But I've been here a lot more times than you. Not to be outdone, Hongdu replied, his eyes were already full of sparks. Ah, just as the two were about to fight a few words, a sudden scream interrupted them. Red Bean and Sunset Red looked towards the source of the sound, but found Yi Kang lying on the table. The thin eyebrows are tightly locked, and it seems to be very uncomfortable. 
At the same time, a faint special smell slowly emanated. The air suddenly became very quiet. For Yi Kang, this may be the most embarrassing moment of her life. It was actually seen, and it was also seen by the two most dishonest lowly, Sunset Red and Red Bean. Lu's face. It's a shame. Extremely humiliating. Shame on you. Zero zero zero. Let her ye someone how to see people in the future. Sister Yi Kang, what's wrong with you? Red Bean asked suspiciously, then furrowed his cute little eyebrows, sniffed hard in the air, and muttered, what is this smell, it feels strange. Quote, this special breath is full of feminine lotus. Ermine, but it doesn't smell bad. And the taste is very light, so light that if you don't pay attention, you may not even notice it. Red Beans only asked this question because they smelled this smell for the first time. It's nothing, I probably have a cold, I'm a little unwell, that, I went back to rest first. Quote. Yi Kang pretended to explain casually, as if afraid that others would see the unnatural look on her face, and quickly got up and left. That wind-like speed may amaze many ninjas. HMPH, uncomfortable with a cold. If it was before yesterday night, you might have really deceived you. You can react that way when you eat a meal, and you pretend to be nothing, it's really cheeky. No, it's the next step. Sunset Hong, who had already experienced, looked bitter and bitter and bitter in the direction of Kang's departure, and silently complained in his heart. Since she fell yesterday night, she is not a naive Li who does not understand anything. For Yi Kang's reaction, and the special smell that followed, Sunset Red was too clear. This is exactly the same as herself yesterday night. It's just that with the little head of the Sunset Red, she didn't think of this Nine Springs, and she thought that Yi Kang was comforting herself. Not only is he beautiful and has a good figure to explode, but he is also so cheeky. Sure enough, Yi Kang is the most difficult person to deal with. Unknowingly, Sunset Hong had listed Yi Kang as a special dangerous person, and his danger level was no less than that of S-class rebels. If you need anything, you can go to the restaurant to find me, anyway, there is only a courtyard, which is very convenient. After Ju Kwan came to the bedroom with Sunset Red and Red Beans, he went back to the shop. Only two lowly were left, looking at the room curiously. The bedroom was very clean and tidy, not even a trace of dust. Sunset Red and Red Beans are hard to imagine, this is a man's bedroom. However, Ju Kwan's Chuang is not big, which is also the result of his deliberate choice. Otherwise, you want such a big Chuang, two people lying down, eight feet away in between. Isn't this specifically to make yourself uncomfortable? Fortunately, Sunset Red and Red Bean are lowly body shapes, lying down is not big or small, just right. Wow, it's actually Simmons, so soft, so comfortable. As if discovering a new continent, the Red Bean poured into Simmons on Chuang. Her two small hands kept pressing on the soft Simmons, and she let out a satisfied exclamation. Since Ju Kwan cooperated with the old craftsman who renovated the shop, he had made a lot of profits. Designed by Ju Kwan, the old craftsman is responsible for the agency, and can get tens of millions of tales of additional income every month. This kind of Simmons, one of the designs of the Nine Springs, has long been circulating among the upper class of Konoha. But because the price is too expensive, it is limited to a small number of people. For civilians or ordinary ninjas, this is simply a luxury. One Simmons, even if it is only the size of a single person, starts at 100,000 tails. Hongdu has also seen Simmons in some shops selling high-end home furnishing before. For her, the price of 100,000 tails is too expensive to buy at all. Sunset Hong didn't react much, because she had already used it at home. Her father was an elite shinobi, and his financial strength was more than enough to buy a Simmons. However, Hearing the surprise of red beans made Shirai Hong think a lot. Kuizumi is not a ninja, it seems that he is just an ordinary civilian. And he is not a Konoha Hao clan, not even a big family, let alone a rich family base. On the bright side, Ju Kwan's only source of income is this restaurant that only opens in the middle of the night. But the restaurant that only opened in the middle of the night had no customers at all, let alone made money. But Ju Kwan is not short of money, and there is not a single bargain in the bedroom. In addition to the Simmons picture worth 100,000 tails, other materials such as tables, chairs and benches, and even the entire room decoration materials are made of extremely exquisite wood. 
Even the set of tea sets on the table cost at least 50,000 tails. A person who has no source of income, but owns so many valuable things. This is simply unscientific. The more Sunset Hong thought about it, the more wrong it became, feeling that all this was too contrary. Even Ju Kwan's whole person began to become mysterious in her eyes, but it also made her more curious. This man, definitely not an ordinary restaurant owner. So who is Ju Kwan? It can't really be that black-robed Ju Kwan who is famous in the ninja realm, right? Impossible, absolutely impossible. But before Sunset Hong could continue to think about it, he was interrupted by the sound of red bean. You really have some special thoughts about the boss, no, you have some special ideas for Juquan, right? Hongdu raised his small face and asked with a serious expression. HMPH, people with special ideas, it's you. Sunset Hong came back to his senses and replied unwillingly. I, I have an idea, so what? Juquan is not your one. Hongdu was bold and directly admitted his intentions. In fact, what made her feel most angry was that when she was shopping before, Sunset Red deceived her. But she also lied to Sunset Hong, both sides are at fault, so she doesn't want to dwell on this issue. Similarly, Ju Kwan can't be your one, as long as Yi Kang is there, you don't want to succeed. Quote, Sunset Hong's original words were stunned, which can be regarded as an indirect acquiescence to his attitude. At this time, you can see the tacit understanding between the two. Obviously, Shi Rai Hong will not be more entangled in the issue of Red Bean's lying, but will leave the topic to Yi Kang. But when Yi Kang was mentioned, the two lowly became dull again. They looked at each other and had mixed feelings. Because they suddenly found that even if they continued to fight, there was no point, but it might give Yi Kang an opportunity. So instead of bickering, it's better to think of other ways. Forget it. It's late now, let's make peace for the time being, let's rest early. Hongdu's eyes rolled and he proposed with a somewhat sly sneering expression. Believe in you to have ghosts. Red Bean's sinister expression, as a good friend Sunset Red, is too familiar. Whenever Hongdu has some conspiracy in his heart, this kind of sly smile will subconsciously appear on his face. However, Shi Rai Hong didn't say it explicitly, she wanted to see what kind of calculation the red bean was making. So even though he knew that there was a conspiracy, Shi Rai Hong nodded and replied, okay. Quote, as for the leaf kang in the mouth of the two lowly, he is washing fat at the moment. Yi Kang originally thought that he could let his little fat time sleep cleanly, but he didn't expect to get it dirty in the end. And it was soiled in front of two lowly. Every time I think of the scene during the meal, it makes Yi Kang want to die shyly. But the feeling that Ju Kwan brought to her was something she had never experienced. For a while, let Yi Kang himself not know whether it was good or bad. The big night of fat washing, such a hardworking woman, is rare, should it be because of Ju Kwan. Xiao Nan didn't know when he appeared, and he asked with a cold expression on his face. Ah, this, I was just, I just want to wash it, and it has nothing to do with Juquan. Quote. The sudden question surprised Yi Kang, but he still chose to favor Juquan. In Yi Kang's opinion, Xiao Nan is Juquan's legitimate girlfriend after all. If it was because of her own reasons to make Xiao Nan jealous, I am afraid it would bring a lot of distress to Juquan. From you, I smell a familiar smell, but in this smell, there is no smell that belongs to the Nine Springs, but it is also fast, you better prepare mentally early to welcome the coming moment. Xiao Nan sniffed Yi Kang deeply, and then said with some amusement, and even his expression was not so cold. This is, encouraged, Yi Kang was a little unsure, and asked hesitantly, what do you mean by this? Quote, you're a smart woman, you should be able to understand me. The corner of Xiao Nan's mouth curved into a good-looking arc, and replied with deep meaning. But you are Juquan's girlfriend, how can you tolerate Juquan and other women? Yi Kang understood, but it was precisely because he understood that he asked Xiao Nan. After you experience it, you will naturally understand. After Xiao Nan finished speaking, he didn't answer more, but went back to sleep. As a woman, you can't satisfy your own man. That's why she wouldn't say it explicitly. Let's let Yi Kang experience it slowly in the future. Chapter 91 After you experience it, you will naturally understand. Yi Kang stayed in place, washing the fat times, thinking about what Xiao Nan had said in his mind. 
It's just that the more I think about it, the weirder it feels. Where is the woman who takes the initiative to push the man out? There should be nothing strange or secret in this, right? When that moment comes, what should I do? Do I have to resist? But with the power of Juquan, he couldn't resist at all. Do I really have to be mentally prepared for what Xiaonan said? Speaking of this kind of thing, how do you prepare for it? Can't you take the initiative to open your legs and let Juquan completely eat and wipe yourself clean, right? And I heard that it hurt for the first time, so I'm afraid. What the hell am I thinking? A cold wind blew through, interrupting Yi Kang's thinking that the more he thought about it, the more he was thinking. Regaining her senses, she cursed herself secretly and began to concentrate on cleaning the little fat times. Two hours later, in Ju Kwan's bedroom, the lights had long been extinguished. Only the moonlight shone through the window, shining on the two lowly's bodies, reflecting their cute figures. If in the eyes of others, these two lowly-like girls are simply like two sleeping angels, full of tranquility. But at this moment, Red Bean's eyes suddenly opened. She had already planned it, leaned close to Shi Rai Hong's ear, and asked softly, Hong, are you sleeping? Quote. But Sunset Hong did not answer her, and only the sound of Sunset Hong's even breathing came out, as if she was really asleep. Hee hee, it looks like you're really asleep, so go and pay the bill now. In the darkness, Red Bean laughed slyly as if he had succeeded in a conspiracy. Then she quietly touched Chuang, opened the door, and walked towards the restaurant at the other end of the yard. Want to avoid me? Dream. Quote. At the same time, Sunset Red, who was lying on Simmons, also quietly opened his eyes. She deliberately pretended to sleep before, just waiting for this moment to come. Now that Hongdu has begun to act, she has to go over to see what Hongdu wants to do. According to Hongdu's plan, she decided to pay off the small account first this evening. Because this can not only remove the lie account, but also use it to get married to Juquan. The close contact increased her status in Juquan's heart. At present, there is no better way to do this. But as a girl, taking the initiative to make people will seem very unreserved. No, it should be said that it is cheeky. Such, is it really good? Walking to the door of the restaurant, Red Bean stopped, looking a little hesitant. Shame on people, for future happiness, and for the sake of eating food often. After thinking for two minutes, Hongdu seemed to have made up his mind and said to himself. Then she took a deep breath and walked white. The tender little feet stepped straight into the restaurant. This guy from Hongdu, really behind my back, came here to do something unseemly. Sunset Hong who was hidden in the corner, saw this scene and muttered angrily in his mouth. However, angry and angry, Sunset Hong still quietly came to the door of the restaurant with the idea of obtaining information, observing every move inside. Inside the restaurant, Ju Kwan, I came to pay the debt I owed you before. As soon as he entered the door, Hongdu pretended not to be afraid of anything, directly explaining his intentions. It's just that the blush on her little face shows the tension in her heart at the moment. What do you owe me? Ju Kwan showed a honey smile and asked knowingly. That's right, he just wants Red Bean to say it himself. When, hit, of course, ten little buttocks. Rao is no matter how bold Hongdu's personality is, when he said this, he seemed a little at a loss. After all, the debt itself is to hit the little buttocks. Little buttocks as a girl is the most private. One of the secret places that should have been well protected. But the Red Beans now took the initiative to send them to the door and let Juquan dispose of them. I'm afraid that any girl will not perform much better than Red Beans. It turns out that this matter, if you don't say I forgot. Juquan showed an expression of sudden realization, then pointed to a table next to him and continued, Go to that table and lie down, little buttocks or a little higher. Quote. Is stealing outside the door. Watching the sunset red. Hearing the conversation between the two inside, they were a little dumbfounded. It turns out that Red Beans also owe debts. Okay, okay. And the content of this arrears is actually a small buttock. Originally, Sunset Red thought that the Red Beans were going to hook. Lead to Nine Springs. That's why she followed, wanting to stop Red Beans' conspiracy at the right time. But I didn't expect the Red Beans to come over to pay off the debt. If it is to repay the debt, Sunset Red really has no reason to prevent Red Bean from repaying the debt. Just like those who lose a bet, 
fulfilling the gamble contract is a matter of course. And in fact, red beans are going to be beaten on the buttocks because they lost the bet. Going to stop nine springs. Shi Rai Hong is not Ju Quan's girlfriend now, and there is no reason to stop him from collecting the bill. No way, the current sunset red can only watch outside the door. That, you must be light, if you break it, I will definitely not spare you. Quote. After the red beans were ready, they threatened with some worry. As a girl, if her little buttocks were really broken by Ju Quan. Then she really won't have to see people in the future. Don't worry, it won't be broken, maybe you'll beg me to hit more. Ju Quan suddenly had a bold idea, so he smiled back. Who would make such a request? When Hongdu heard this, he immediately retorted with a red face. It's not a good thing to say. After Ju Quan finished speaking, he smiled noncommittally. Then he turned around and took out the props that had not been used for a long time after that system reward. Because they were facing away from the red beans and the sunset red outside the door, neither of them noticed Ju Quan's small movements. Ju Quan secretly opened his left hand and absorbed this small prop into his palm. When the cells recovered, from the outside, Ju Quan's palm was no different from before. But in fact, his left hand is completely different from before. When Ju Quan controls the cells, turn on this little toy in one gear. Apart from feeling the tremor in his hand, he had no other superfluous feelings. This phenomenon is also normal, because this prop itself is only effective for the opposite gender. In other words, this prop will not work on any man, let alone Juquan. And this little toy itself has four gears. Even Tsunade, a famous powerhouse in the Hokage world, is on the verge of being in the state of the second rank, and he wants to die or live. Not to mention the state of third or fourth gear. It's kind of interesting, I'll call it God Mode in the future. Ju Quan looked at his left hand, and he couldn't wait to try the effect. What are you talking about? Red Bean, who didn't know the truth, saw Ju Quan talking to himself over there, and asked suspiciously. Nothing. Ju Quan turned around and said, and then it was like looking at a lamb. Lamb looked at the Red Bean and continued to confirm, are you really ready? Quote. Of course, you hurry up and fight. I'll pay off the arrears after the fight. Although Hongdu hesitated, he nodded and confirmed. In her opinion, it has come to this point anyway. Instead of backing down, it's better to bite the bullet and bear it. Of course, it would be better if Ju Quan could fight faster. It's best if you haven't reacted and it's all over. As you wish, then I'll finish it soon. Ju Quan smiled, and then chose a position with his back to the door. This position just blocks the sight of the sunset outside the door. Sunset Red now, except for the back of Juquan, can no longer see anything. There is no way, you can only rely on listening. Seeing this, Sunset Hong outside the door frowned and muttered quietly, and turned his ear to the door. Snap! In the room, Juquan backhanded a palm and gently slapped it up. And didn't stop much at all, just left with a slight touch. What? Red Doe's eyes widened suddenly, and the water mist was spreading in her eyes at an extremely fast speed. Snap! Before Hongdu could speak, Ju Quan had already finished the remaining few strokes. However, the feeling that those palms brought to the red beans did not dissipate. On the contrary, it is infinitely magnified, and it is extremely uncomfortable not to go up or down. Your account has been settled, go back to sleep. Ju Quan announced solemnly, while showing a satisfied smile. After finishing speaking, he did not leave, because he was sure that Red Bean must have something to say. For the current state of Red Beans, Ju Quan is definitely very clear. And with each use of the God Mode, it can increase the user's dependence on themselves. So even if I want to go, I'm afraid that Red Bean is not willing to. Wait, please hit me harder. Sure enough, as Ju Quan expected, Red Bean raised his little head and pleaded sticky. Red beans are so cheeky. Hitting small buttocks is such a thing, and I actually have to ask to continue. And also, fight hard. Could it be that red beans were beaten and addicted? Lying outside the door, Sunset Hong, because she can't see the actual situation in the house, so she can only make up the picture inside by herself based on the conversation she heard. In her own imagination, red bean was really just beaten on the buttocks. But what she didn't know was that the red beans were beaten not only by small buttocks, but also about to be peed. 
Didn't you say before that you would never ask for a few more hits? Inside the room, Ju Quan asked with a playful look. He also said before that maybe Red Bean would beg him to hit his small buttocks a few more, but he was immediately rejected by Red Bean's righteous words. As a result, now, Red Bean is not begging him to continue. Phew, Ju Quan, I was wrong, please continue to fight, no matter how hard you use, I can do it. Quote. Red Bean blinked his pitiful eyes and said in a trembling tone. After speaking, her pouting little buttocks shook, as if urging Ju Quan to hit her as soon as possible. Since you admit your mistakes so sincerely, then I will use a lot of strength as you wish. Ju Quan smiled and replied with a look of compassion. Snap. As soon as the words fell, his slap fell heavily under Hongdu. Yay. The red bean was caught off guard by this palm, and he couldn't help but cry out in pain. Pain, pain, pain. The strong pain instantly rushed to the brain door of the red bean. Her eyes, which were already wide, opened to the limit in an instant. Stop. In the case of sudden pain, red bean subconsciously wanted to stop. But in the next second, the happy feeling that accompanied the pain began to gradually spread to Hongdu's whole body, and she felt extremely happy. Pain and happiness probably describe the state of red beans at the moment. Anyway, she was completely intoxicated at the moment. Stop what? Is it a stop? Quote, Ju Quan stopped moving at this time and asked with a smile. No, what I want to say is don't stop, please hit me harder. Red Bean didn't want this happy feeling to disappear, so he hurriedly changed his words. At this moment, she is not afraid of pain at all. On the contrary, in Hongdu's opinion, the more painful she was beaten, the more happy she felt. And what is pain compared to the feeling of happiness? No problem, as you wish. Ju Quan smiled slightly and nodded in agreement. Turn on the left hand of God Mode first gear and wave it down again. Outside the door. The screams of red beans are endless, so that Sunset Hong is pacing back and forth in front of the store. Although they are now in a competitive relationship, Red Doe is also her good friend after all. Hearing the sound of red beans so painful, Sunset Hong couldn't help but be a little worried. Deserve it, who let the red beans themselves propose to hit the little buttocks, and also took the initiative to ask to hit hard. But she shouldn't be broken, right? So shall I go in and help her? Wait a minute. It seems that the sound of red beans, a little familiar. Just when Shi Rai Hong was engaged in a thought struggle, he suddenly noticed that this voice was a little familiar. This discovery made Sunset Hong a little surprised. She hurriedly pricked up her ears and listened carefully, and sure enough, the more she listened, the more familiar she became. This kind of voice is like the pleasure that I couldn't help shouting when I was sprayed. Pleasant sound. Sunset Red thought about it carefully. Where was the screaming of the sound made by the red bean before? It is clearly an exhilarating cry when it is close to collapse. Sure enough, with the last whale-like scream of red beans, it was all over. Immediately afterwards, a more familiar smell spread through the crack in the door to Sunset Red's little nose. Sunset Hong sniffed deeply, and suddenly became angry. The mouth is bulging. Good you red bean, I'm still worried about you. I didn't expect that you could even be beaten. It's so obscene. Sunset Red was so angry, she glared at the door fiercely, and then left angrily. All the information that should be obtained has been obtained, why stay here if you don't go back to sleep? Do you have to wait to be killed by Red Beans here? Inside the house, Hongdu's eyes were half open, as if he had lost consciousness. It's just one gear, and she's already like this. I think at the beginning, Tsunade could hold the second gear. It seems that strength and affordability are linked, and the stronger the woman, the greater the gear she can bear. Ju Quan shook his head with a smile, opened the faucet head, and slowly washed off the stickiness on his hands. Drying his hands, Ju Quan picked up the red bean, went into the bedroom in a flash, and then laid her down on Simmons. At this time, although Shi Rai Hong had fallen asleep, her little face was still bulging, so that Ju Quan couldn't help but three, four, three, and pinched. Whoosh, although Sunset Red is still sleeping, she can still feel uncomfortable. She frowned with a good-looking thin eyebrow, and instinctively raised her hand and waved, but was firmly grabbed by Ju Quan. It seems that I am not lightly angry, but I am a person who is wet with rain and dew, so I can't favor one over the other. Ju Quan sat next to Simmons and said thoughtfully to himself. 
God Mode First Gear, Zhu Quan raised his high-frequency left hand and slowly attacked towards the sunset red. Although he was still asleep, his little face was still red at a speed visible to the naked eye. Just half a minute later, with a flurry, the little face of the setting sun finally calmed down and became the quiet little angel again. That's right, Zhu Quan looked at his masterpiece and smiled with satisfaction. Then he went back to the restaurant to rest, hiding his achievements and fame. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, Zhu Quan did not clean up the scene. That, early morning, Sunset Hong woke up in a beautiful dream and felt a pang of fatigue. In the dream, she married Zhu Quan. After the wedding, it is time for the couple. All kinds of shame, shy postures are all used. Everything was as if it had really happened, although it always felt. If it is in normal times, this dream can be read and reminiscing for a day. But now as soon as Sunset Hong opened his eyes, it was the face of Red Bean, and he suddenly lost his good mood. Especially when I think of yesterday night, Red Bean takes the initiative. And also beaten, Sunset Red feels uncomfortable, well, very uncomfortable. Ha, hiss, it hurts, quote, at this time, Hongdu also woke up, and wanted to turn over, but there was a pain. Seemingly, swollen, it's over, I can't take the task in the past two days, and it seems that I can only rest well. But fortunately, you can take advantage of these two days to move. Red Doe lowered her head and thought, when she raised her head, she happened to see Sunset Hong staring at her. I had a good night yesterday, but I didn't expect you to even be beaten on your little buttocks, Wu. Quote. Before Sunset Hong's words were finished, he was covered by Red Bean. I didn't expect to be discovered by you in the end, but you'd better not say it, otherwise I. Hongdu thought for a long time, but did not come up with a reasonable solution. Extinguish. Sunset Hong is her good friend after all, so this method does not need to be thought of, and it is directly passed. Threat. Sunset Red has nothing to do to make Red Bean take out and threaten. What to do? If you let Sunset Red go outside to publicize, then you don't want to see people. After thinking about it, it made Red Bean feel that his head was big, but he still didn't think of a good way. How else do you want to be? Do you want to extinguish your mouth? Quote. Sunset Hong rolled over and broke free of control, not to be outdone, and asked rhetorically. This, I, hey. Quote, originally, Hongdu was still helpless, but a chance discovery allowed her to find a breakthrough. Just where Sunset Red turned over, a suspicious trace was revealed. Hongdu was sure that there was no trace of that before they slept yesterday night. Are you peeing? Red Bean pointed to the trace, and asked with a bad smile. But then, she asked about a faint familiar taste, with a girlish breath. No, no, this smell, I see. Quote, Hongdu sniffed deeply, and said to himself with a somewhat surprised expression. After yesterday night, Red Beans seemed to know what this trace is. Who said that she couldn't threaten Sunset Red not to go out and talk nonsense? Isn't this a ready-made solution? Don't look, Sunset Hong also found out, and after screaming, he suddenly picked up the quilt and covered it on the trace. She finally knew why she felt weird before. It turns out that not only dreaming, in reality, she really sprayed. In the end, forced to help, Sunset Hong could only sign a confidentiality contract with Hongdu. Then reluctantly pressed a delicate fingerprint on the contract. That's right, if you tell me about it, I'll tell you about your spray of water. Red Bean said with a wicked smile, carefully folded the confidentiality contract, and then stuffed it into a small murder weapon of considerable size. I know, but in the same way, if you tell me about it, I will tell someone about your buttocks beating, and you have been vented. Quote. Although Shi Rai Hong was very helpless, he still said back. HMPH, my mouth is very strict, forget it, don't tell you, let's go and prepare for the move. Quote. Red beans are proud, Zhao replied and then got up in pain, ready to leave with Zhu Quan. Wait, I'll go with you. As soon as she heard about the move, Sunset Hong calmed down, and she decided to move with Red Bean. Not only to move together, but also to live together. Lest Hongdu, a cheeky woman, can't bear it, and come to Zhu Quan again to ask for a fight. Although very reluctant, Shi Rai Hong had to admit that the sound that Red Bean made when he was beaten last night was really difficult for men to hold. At that time, in case of fighting, 
Ju Quan couldn't resist taking the red beans, and there was really no place to cry at Sunset Red. After Ju Quan sent away the two lowly, he wanted to lie in the yard to bask in the sun and enjoy life. But not long after lying down, an old acquaintance came to visit. I said Watergate, it's daytime now, is Hokage already so idle? Ju Quan squinted his eyes and quipped slightly. Since Watergate came to power, it can be said that it is very vigorous, and there is basically no rest time. Even when I come to visit Ju Quan, most of the time I spend my time in a restaurant in the middle of the night. It is absolutely rare to visit the door during the day. Something big happened, I can only entrust you with a shot on behalf of Konoha. Different from the usual mildness, Watergate looked serious at this time. It turned out that some time ago, a cult organization came from the land of fire, calling itself a cult. This cult originally originated in the country of soup, probably because it was relatively barren, so it came to the country of fire, which is very rich in resources. Since the cult came, it has vigorously developed the congregation and conducted brainwashing education for the congregation. Moreover, their teachings were extremely evil, encouraging their congregations to kill on a spree as a way to sacrifice evil gods. Under the fanaticism of those congregations, many towns and villages have been killed and injured. Because of this, the daimyo of the Fire Nation ordered Konoha to eliminate the cult as soon as possible, otherwise the annual funding for Konoha would be cut. As the largest financial lord of Konoha, he spoke, and Watergate would definitely do so, so he directly sent two dark teams to eliminate the cult. Two squads, a total of eight people, and all eight of them were Shangnan, but in the end, none of them came back alive. This result shocked Watergate. You know, eight upper patients is already a lot of combat power. But now it has been easily annihilated, which only shows that the cult has a more powerful existence. Now that Konoha's high-end combat power is insufficient, the water gate itself, as the shadow of Konoha, cannot leave the village at will. The elders, as the high-ranking members of Konoha, could not be sent out of the village. So now Watergate can only come to entrust Juquan, but with Konoha's current financial situation. Cult, after listening to the description of Watergate, Juquan always felt a little familiar. If you think about it again, isn't this the cult organization of the flying section? Juquan slapped the door of his head, and he remembered it. Unexpectedly, this cult organization, which only served as the backstory of the flying segment in the original work, could actually break out of the country of soup and develop into the territory of the country of fire. Juquan had to say, it's a little interesting. The current finances of the village are not very good, about two million tails, I don't know this price, can I entrust you to make a move? Watergate scratched his head and asked a little embarrassed. Although the price of two million tails is already worth two S-level task honorariums. But when it came to Juquan, the Watergate still did not dare to guarantee enough. After all, before that, it was only to entrust Juquan to sign a peace treaty on behalf of Konoha, and it was all a commission fund of five million tails. If it is this kind of cleanup task, it is estimated that it will take ten million tails to start. I didn't see the previous fog hidden incident, and Juquan also fired the price of 15 million tails. Of course, in the end, the water shadow uses a lot of water for the body. The matter of paying off debts is not something Watergate can know. It's only 2 million tails, why is Konoha getting poorer? Juquan was a little surprised, and subconsciously complained. With the character of Watergate, it is absolutely impossible to pretend to be poor. But now even Watergate is crying poor, then there is only one result, Konoha is really poor. Since Tsunade-sama returned to Konoha, her gambling debts have also returned, and people from various casinos often come to collect debts, and they have hollowed out most of their finances. As soon as Watergate thought about this, he began to complain. Tsunade returned to Konoha, and they were all absolutely happy. After all, with Tsunade's status, he always floated outside, and Konoha's face was not good-looking. But soon after Tsunade's return, they began to have headaches, and the first headache was the Minister of Finance. Every day, there are many casino people who come to collect debts, and they are not a small number. If you don't pay back, it's just Lai Qian, once this name is spread, who will dare to entrust a task to Konoha in the future. But this repayment found that Tsunade's gambling debts were really many. Almost all of Konoha's financial income was given to her gambling debts. 
The two million tails left are still cobbled together. I know, originally this kind of cleansing task started at least 10 million tails, but this time, even if you return the favor, you only need to give me 200 tails. Zhu Quan gestured and said lightly. Originally, I heard that there were only 2 million tails, and Zhu Quan was still a little lacking in interest. But when it comes to his own woman, he can't ignore it. Because no matter what, Konoha can be regarded as paying off the gambling debts for Tsunade. So this time to give an almost free price, it can be regarded as returning this favor. Really, it still doesn't work, what the? 200 tails, quote. Watergate first shook his head helplessly, then stunned, and repeated with a little disbelief. In his opinion, the price of two million tails, whether Zhu Quan can accept the commission or not, or another matter. But he never expected that Zhu Quan not only agreed, but also helped almost for free. It seems that there are still many good people. Judging from the results, Watergate is very happy. But if the wise man Nara Shikajiu is present, I am afraid that he will helplessly spit out old blood. Just kidding, in the entire ninja world, how difficult is it to make Zhu Quan owe a favor? This loser's Hokage actually missed this great opportunity because of 10 million benefits. And it looks very happy. After Zhu Quan finished breakfast, he changed into a direct departure and set off. It's just a cult, and there is no need to prepare anything. It is only right to solve it early and go home early to enjoy life. Since this time I set off alone, I was much faster in speed and arrived at my destination very quickly. According to the map, it should be here. Zhu Quan put down the drawing in his hand and looked at the town in front of him. According to intelligence tips, this town has long since fallen and has become the base camp of the cult. In fact, there is no need for intelligence, Zhu Quan can also see it. In the town, strange runes were painted everywhere. Civilians have disappeared, except for a few people in odd uniforms, walking around the streets. What comes out of his mouth is also some words of praise for the evil god. Hey, feed, just kidding, how did that person come here? Quote, by chance, a sect member inadvertently glanced into the distance and found the figure of Juquan, and his expression suddenly changed. What people, when the other members heard the prestige, their faces also changed drastically. Black robe, I won't be blinded, he actually appeared here, wouldn't he have accepted some commission? If the black robed Juquan accepts the commission, then he comes to us. One spread ten, ten spread hundred, and soon almost everyone knew that Juquan was coming. Although they didn't know what Zhu Quan was doing here, they could also guess that the person who came was not good. Fear began to gradually spread in everyone's heart. After all, they were only low-level believers, and they were not as fanatical as Fei Duan. To sacrifice to evil gods, they prefer to use the lives of ordinary civilians rather than their own. Boom, boom, knock, okay, okay. As Zhu Quan walked slowly, the street suddenly became extremely quiet, and only the sound of footsteps echoed in it. The voice was very clear at once, as if it was connected to everyone's heartbeat. Hurry up and inform the sect leader Shi. A man who looked like a small head ordered his subordinates very harshly. It is strange to say that when they heard the words, sect leader, everyone seemed to be relieved a lot, and their sense of fear was not so strong. Sect leader, this discovery made Zhu Quan a little interested. The chakra in his hand, which was originally going to condense the tailed beast jade, also slowly dissipated. Underscore. Zhu Quan's own name must be counted in his heart. And the group of sect members in front of them can actually subside their fear, and they must have something to rely on. Although this cult is only an organization that acts as a background plate in the Hokage. But to be able to appear the same combat power as the flying segment, I think there are also some hands, segments. So he was curious to see, who is the sect leader? Isn't this your excellency the black robe Juquan? What kind of noble people are here today, is it also admiring to join our evil god sect? Within two minutes, a voice that sounded like a silver bell suddenly sounded behind Juquan. Don't get me wrong, I'm just here today to kill you, or to be killed by you. After speaking, Juquan turned to look at the sect leader. The leader of the cult is a woman, and you can hear it from the voice. And yet the most shocking. What is beautiful is her appearance, which is definitely not inferior to the mature woman of Jaume. Flatter. 
and with a wave of temperament, it belongs to the type that makes other women look at it and secretly scold the fox spirit. But the strange thing is that she obviously looks charming to the bone, but she can make people feel dangerous unconsciously. It's like a rose, it's obviously so tempting. Confused, but because of the sharp thorn, people dare not pick. Pick. For example, now, except for Juquan who was looking squarely at the sect leader, everyone else lowered their heads and did not even dare to raise their eyes. As if they were afraid that if they offended the sect leader, they would receive some punishment. I have heard of the prestige of His Excellency the Black Robe Juquan, but Your Excellency dares to come to our evil god sect alone, maybe you are too confident in yourself, or do you not put my early spring Liangji in your eyes? The sect leader Liangji covered his red in early spring. Lips chuckled, but there was a hint of killing intent in her crooked eyes. When she heard her subordinate's panicked report just now, she was also a little surprised, but she was not afraid. Surprised, because she didn't expect to be fung, Ju Quan could come to the cult, undoubtedly accepted the commission and came to eliminate them. I am not afraid, because her cult is huge, there are tens of thousands of people, and she uses the tactics of the sea of people to grind, and I believe that she can also consume the chakra of Ju Quan. And her own strength is not weak, not to mention the whole cards. Kind of interesting. Ju Quan curled the corners of his mouth slightly and muttered to himself. Since the famous shinobi realm, few people dared to be so confident in front of him. The last person who dared to be confident seemed to be Lei Ying, anyway, the end was not very good. Side Mission, Spiritual Conquest as a strong person, you must not only have a force to deter, but also to make people physically and mentally subordinate. For the ultimate mission, go and completely conquer the heart of early spring Ryoheim. Quote. Mission reward. 5000 energy, random rope. Mission failure. Considered a final mission failure, the host is either immortal loneliness or forced to cuckold. The sudden sound of the system made Juquan stunned. Originally, do you still have such a thing as a system? To be honest, since the system is always silent, as if it is dead, Juquan almost forgot about it. Now the system has popped up again, making him somewhat nostalgic for when he first crossed. Early spring Liang Ji saw Juquan in a daze, and thought that he was afraid, so he smiled and said, I didn't expect that His Excellency Juquan, who was in a black robe, would also have times when he was afraid, I don't know if when Your Excellency came, did you ever think that you would regret it? Quote, Afraid, no, 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 I'm just wondering how to completely conquer you. Quote. Ju Quan returned to his senses and replied seriously. Since the system rarely publishes tasks, he naturally wants to complete them well. But then again, is it hard to conquer a woman's heart? Ju Quan suddenly felt that he had a bold insertion, idea. Conquer me. Good, good, I haven't seen such a bold man in a long time. Quote. Early spring Ryoheim felt like she was being tuned. After playing, he did not laugh angrily, and then waved his hand and ordered, kill him. Quote. Facing Juquan, this group of sect members was still a little hesitant at first. However, as soon as they thought of how many people they were on their side, they immediately had no scruples, and they were all ready to use the heads of Juquan to curry favor with the sect leader. Underscore. Is it bad to be alive? Looking at the group of cannon fodder rushing up, Ju Quan shook his head a little speechlessly. In the next second, the tailed beast jade in his hand had condensed and formed, and it was directly thrown towards the crowd. Boom! With a violent explosion, a huge semicircular fireball suddenly rose, forming a small mushroom cloud. The group of sect members who were originally closest to Ju Quan had been completely swallowed up by the fireball, and there was not even slag left. People who were far away were also uncomfortable, and they were all affected by the shock wave generated by the explosion, and the impact of the seven meats and eight elements could not stand steadily. As for the surrounding buildings, they have long been raised to the ground. This power, after early spring Liangji dodged the explosion, looking at Juquan, who was standing so faintly, his pupils contracted instantly. At least a thousand people died in the explosion just now, and countless people were injured. Although Liangji in early spring did not care about the lives of the sect, they were all sacrificed to the evil gods anyway. But Ju Quan showed such strong lethality, which surprised her. If it continues like this, then the numerical advantage that the cult relies on will be gone. But then she smiled again, lightly hiding her red. 
Lips said. Such a large amount of chakra output. I really underestimate you, but presumably you consume a lot of chakra, right? When your chakra is completely exhausted, by that time, if all you rely on is the tactics of the human sea, I am afraid that I will disappoint you, because you and these members of your sect have been surrounded by me. Zhu Quan tilted his head and said indifferently, and in his confident tone, he did not put this group of sect members in his eyes. One person, surrounded by tens of thousands of people. If you say this sentence by another person, it will definitely make people laugh out of their big teeth. But now it is different, because the person who spoke is Juquan, and the blow just now has fully proved his strength. At this time, the only hope for all the sect members was that the chakra of the Nine Springs had already been used up in the blow just now. It's a pity that most of these people are not ninjas, just some mountain thieves. Although the remaining small number of people belong to wandering ninjas, they have not really seen the horror of the tailed beast. So they don't know that the man who can compete with the tailed beast has a terrifying amount of chakra itself. In early spring, Liang Ji had heard of tailed beasts, such as the eight tails of Union Village, whose strength was comparable to that of Thunder Shadow. So unconsciously, in the eyes of Liang Ji in early spring, Zhu Quan was a little more powerful than Lei Ying. A shadow level powerhouse, no matter how strong it is, is only a shadow level, and she has absolute confidence to subdue this black robe powerhouse. If Zhu Quan knew what Liang Ji thought in early spring, I am afraid that he would sigh. If you don't read books, don't read newspapers, you really will kill people. Surrounded, haha, ha. unlike that group of sect members, early spring Liang Ji itself has great strength, so he is not afraid at all. She laughed for a while, and continued to order. Everyone listen, kill the person in the black robe Juquan, I will reward him with an immortal body like Fiden. Quote. Immortal body. Really, Lord Sect Leader. Great, it's up to me to take down the head of the black robe Juquan. What nonsense, the immortal body is mine. Quote. After listening to Liang Ji's words in early spring, the group of sect members immediately became as excited as chicken blood, and their gazes towards Zhu Quan also became extremely fanatical. Fei Duan is a big legend of their cult, and since he received the gift of the sect master and became an immortal body, I heard that he can already walk sideways in the ninja world. In other words, that flying section with an immortal body has been killed by me to the point that there is no slag left, what are you happy about? Just when this group of sect members was excited, Zhu Quan's faint voice sounded uncomfortably. What? All the noisy sounds stopped, and even early spring Liang Ji looked at Zhu Quan a little shocked. Fei Duan's immortal body, their evil god sect is really too clear, that is the ability to not die if it is blown to pieces. But now, the black-robed Zhu Quan actually said that he had killed Fei Duan. That is an immortal body, how could it be killed like this? But then again, it has been a long time since the news of the flying segment returned. Could it be that what the black-robed Juquan said was true? Forget it, tell you group of cannon fodder about what these are for, let's hurry up and complete the task. Just when this group of sect members was still doubting, Juquan's voice talking to himself sounded again. In the next second, ten large-tailed beast jades condensed in front of Juquan's body out of thin air. The high concentration of chakra in the tailed beast jade, as well as the dazzling light, made this group of sect members feel hopeless. Just a small tailed beast jade just now had already caused such great power, causing them to suffer heavy casualties. Now it has been replaced with such a large tailed beast jade, and there are still ten in total, which must not let them wipe out the entire army. Run, all the congregation raised this thought in unison, and the frenzy just now had already turned into boundless fear. These sect members are not as paranoid as Fei Duan, what a mortal body. What evil god. In front of this level of tailed beast jade, being able to save their lives is what they want most. I said a long time ago that you are surrounded by me and want to run. Zhu Quan looked at the fleeing sect members, and the tailed beast jade in his hand was thrown hard. Boom, a far louder explosion sounded than before, which simply gave people a feeling of destroying the world. In the blink of an eye, the flames had enveloped the entire town. The whole town collapsed in an instant. Several mushroom clouds suddenly rose, and thick smoke billowed into the sky. Even the thick clouds in the sky caused a ring-shaped giant hole because of this huge impact, which could not be recovered for a long time. 
The congregation did not even have time to scream, and they were already swallowed into a sea of fire. Even the outermost people were forced into meat sauce by a powerful shock wave in less than a second. Boom! The vast earth seemed to be unable to withstand such a powerful impact, and began to collapse downwards. When everything was over, only early spring Liangji was left alive in the entire cult. Although when Ju Quan revealed the ten large-tailed beast jade, she already felt bad, but she didn't expect it to turn out like this. At this time, after experiencing the baptism of the tailed beast jade just now, the town had ceased to exist. As far as the eye can see, let alone buildings, not even a single grass can be seen. Even the topography of this entire area has completely turned into a basin because of the bombing just now. What is this? Is it only shadow level strength that is good? Tens of thousands of congregations, just gone. Early spring Ryoheim looked at the scene in front of her, and was shocked and couldn't close her mouth for a long time. From today onwards, the cult has completely ceased to exist, and the entrusted task can be considered completed, so now it's time to complete the system task. Ju Quan looked at his masterpiece and said with satisfaction. Just now, he was afraid of accidentally blowing up early spring Liangji, and he deliberately controlled the attack range to stay away from this woman. Judging from the current effect, Ju Quan found that his control of energy was still very good, and he could score 99 points. As for the tens of thousands of sect members who died, Ju Quan didn't care at all. Anyway, it's all a team of evil bandits and wandering ninjas. Even if it was increased tenfold, Ju Quan could still send them to the so-called evil god with a smile. Demon, you are the devil, quote, early spring Liangji collapsed on the ground, her eyes looking at Ju Quan, and her expression became frightened. Obviously killed tens of thousands of people in an instant. The town was completely destroyed because of this. But why does this man look like he doesn't care at all? Even if Liang Ji didn't care about the lives of her sect in early spring, watching tens of thousands of people disappear in an instant with a town, it was a shock that couldn't be stopped. Now she finally knows why everyone in the ninja world is afraid of the black rogue Nine Springs. He also finally knew that everything that Ju Quan did could be described as a great crime in anyone's eyes, but why no one dared to trouble him. The Wuyin village incident, Union village was half destroyed. Yenian village was bombed 10 areas, and it doesn't have to be much better in Union village. The high level of Shayan village was all exterminated overnight. Originally, Liangji thought that it was just those ninja villages who were cowardly, but now it seems that it is Ju Quan's strength that is too terrifying. So is the whole card you have mastered really useful in front of such a man? Don't be so afraid, don't you believe in evil gods, evil gods and demons seem to be no different, right? Ju Quan listened to the music, and asked rhetorically with the corners of his mouth upturned. A cult leader who believes in evil gods actually said that Ju Quan is a demon, how can he not make him laugh? But it doesn't matter, it is estimated that Liangji's faith in early spring will soon cease to be an evil god. Thinking of this, a honey smile appeared on Ju Quan's face, and he began to show Liangji in early spring step by step. What do you want to do? Don't come here. Boom, early spring Ryoheim retreats, but accidentally falls into a crater that has been blown out. There were also some sharp gravel in the pit, which scratched her white at once. The skin is tender, but the wound recovers at a speed visible to the naked eye. Ha, huh, do you also have an immortal body? Quote, Ju Quan looked at the scene in front of him, and suddenly his interest increased. Early spring Liang Ji's immortal body that can directly heal itself is obviously much more advanced than the immortal body that needs to be stitched up in the flying section. No wonder this woman always had a confident expression at the beginning. It turned out that those tens of thousands of sects were just one of this woman's means, and her real whole card was probably this immortal body. And when she repairs her wounds, she consumes very little energy, so little that it is almost imperceptible. In other words, with the strength of this woman's shadow level, unless someone can kill her in an instant. Otherwise, once a war of attrition is fought, among the same shadow level powerhouses, I am afraid that no one can be the opponent of this woman. Of course, she was very unlucky this time and met Ju Quan. The immortal body meets the immortal body, Ju Quan is still very interested in exchanges, but early spring Liangji seems to be a little uncooperative. How can I conquer you, you say? Ju Quan squatted down and asked with a honey smile. Although he had planned it earlier, 
he decided to listen to the woman's opinion first. After all, he is also a person who pays attention to human rights, right? You also saw that I am a person with an immortal body, so it is impossible for you to conquer me, and with that level of attack just now, I'm afraid your chakra is almost gone, it's better to let me go, how about we be safe with each other? Although he was very afraid, Liang Ji in early spring had begun to recover his thoughts at this time, and said more calmly. Although she has an immortal body, under that level of tailed beast jade bombardment, there is absolutely no possibility of survival. However, as long as Ju Quan did not chakra to make those tailed beast jade, then she believed in her immortal body, and there would be absolutely no problem. However, when Liang Ji looked up and saw Ju Quan's face in early spring, the ability to think calmly that had just regained was about to collapse again. This is a subconscious reaction after being shocked, I am afraid that in this life, she will not forget Ju Quan. She is also a shadow level powerhouse. And it's the kind that is almost shadow level invincible. Now he does not have the slightest momentum of a shadow level powerhouse, but is very much like a weak chicken that can be slaughtered. And the man who caused all this stood in front of her so easily. The strong sense of contrast, I am afraid that not only early spring Liang Ji, but no one can accept it. It's impossible to let you go, I just want to conquer you. Ju Quan shook his head with a smile and then continued, as for my chakra, I did consume a small part just now, allow me to recover a little. Quote. What? Early spring Ryoheim still thought that she had misheard, this man actually wanted to restore chakra in front of her. Reply to chakra, to put it bluntly, it is rest. Then wouldn't he be able to take advantage of this man's rest and take the opportunity to escape? Now that it's restored, let's move on to the topic of how to conquer you. Unfortunately, as soon as Liang Ji thought of this, Ju Quan's familiar voice sounded again. Are you kidding? From the beginning to now, it has only been less than three seconds. This man actually said that he had recovered. Even if his immortal body recovered quickly, it was definitely impossible to fully recover in such a short time. Deceptive, absolutely deceptive. Early spring Liang Ji was a little confused at first, and then said calmly, your Excellency Black Robe Ju Quan, you really love to joke, there is no need to force it. It's just that before she finished speaking, she was completely blocked back by the ten large tailed beast jades that Ju Quan casually condensed. Do you believe it now? Ju Quan pointed to the tailed beast jade floating in the air, and asked rhetorically with the corners of his mouth upturned. He really didn't lie to early spring Ryoheim, the chakra he had consumed before, he had indeed recovered. With the recovery ability of Majin Buu's physique that is almost open, coupled with the extremely fast chakra recovery power of the Nine Tails itself. What is the amount consumed just now? I, I believe. Early spring Liang Ji swallowed her saliva with difficulty and replied with a stunned expression. Then let's move on to the topic of how to conquer you. Ju Quan returned to the right and preached. Talk to a man about how to conquer yourself. In early spring, Liang Ji was also a sect leader and although she was the only one left in the cult now, the majesty of the sect leader was still there. She can be afraid, but she can't accept being conquered. I can't be conquered by anyone, my faith is an evil god, it's a big deal if you kill me, I can just go to see the evil god lord. After a long silence, early spring Liang Ji suddenly thought of something, and said with a sly expression. What kind of strength is Juquan? It can be seen from the ten-tailed beast jades floating in midair. Someone with such power could easily kill her, but he didn't make a move. What does this say? It shows that Ju Quan doesn't want to kill her. Thinking about this, Ryo Ji felt as if she had taken the initiative again. You are a smart woman, it's a pity that your cleverness will make you suffer a lot. Ju Quan smiled, indicating that he had seen through the careful thinking of early spring Ryoheim. Since this woman did not cooperate, then he was ready to start the useless mode of question and answer. Anyway, he has already given Chun Liangji a chance, but she is not useful. And you can also take a look at where the limit of this immortal body is. What do you want to do? Early spring Ryoheim felt a little bad, out of fear of the unknown, she couldn't help but ask out loud. But Ju Quan did not answer her words, but put his hand on her shoulder. God mode second gear, what the hell are you, what the hell is right for me, what was done? Quote. At first, Liang Ji still had some questions in early spring, why did this man touch his shoulder? 
But soon, she realized something was wrong. From the shoulder, a unique current flows downwards. Then this current is transformed into a feeling that has never been felt before, and it is fed straight into the mind. After just a second, early spring Ryoheim was completely soft. On the otherwise dry ground, a map of water is expanding. Fortunately, she herself fell to the ground because of the fall, otherwise the map would have splashed. It's kind of interesting, I can actually last for a second. Seeing this, Ju Kwan curled the corners of his mouth and commented. Even a strong person like Tsunade is on the verge of collapse. However, Ryoheim in early spring is worthy of being a woman with an immortal body, and her resilience and endurance are much stronger than Tsunade. She was actually able to go from contact to collapse in second gear mode, and persisted for a full second, which Juquan had not expected before. What does this say? It shows that early spring Ryoheim is not only personality. The gun mount is very good, and it is not easy to be broken. In other words, Ju Kwan can finally let go of his hands and feet and completely do a big job. Yay, at this time, early spring Liangji suddenly screamed softly. Just when Ju Kwan was thinking about things just now, her second time had arrived. The map is getting bigger and bigger, and it's breathtaking. Even Terumi, who is a water shadow, is present, I am afraid that she will bow down. When such a shameful thing happened, Liangji in early spring should have let himself quickly leave Ju Kwan's palm. But, CBFB, her heartbeat was getting faster and faster, but instead she ghostly grabbed Ju Kwan's hand tightly and didn't let him leave her. It was as if Ju Kwan's hand had become her, and she couldn't afford to lose half of it. As time passed, Liangji in early spring did not seem satisfied with such contact, and she followed Ju Kwan's arm and took the initiative to throw herself into Ju Kwan's arms. Unconsciously, her whole person was already like an octopus, entangled in Ju Kwan. It only took a little more time for her to feel that she could reach that heavenly situation again. Think beautiful, Ju Kwan smiled slightly and turned off the god mode ability. He deliberately let early spring Liangji taste the sweetness twice so that he could taste the essence of food, but the purpose was not to satisfy this woman. The task of the system is to conquer, to completely conquer the heart of this woman. What is the easiest operation to conquer a woman's heart? Awakening the woman's emotions, of course, and then completely subduing her. The stop of Ju Kwan made Liangji's body suddenly stiffen, and he couldn't help but whisper, don't stop. Quote, for Liang Ji in early spring, she is now like a traveler dying of thirst in the desert, obviously the water has been put in front of her eyes, but she can't drink it. This feeling of having hope, but being killed on the spot, was really uncomfortable for her. Did that feel comfortable just now? As long as you are conquered by me, you can feel the feeling just now. Quote. Ju Kwan smiled and said unhurriedly. Conquest. Early spring Ryoheim muttered in confusion, seemingly a little confused. The feeling of happiness in her body has become as important as the faith she has always had. It is like a celestial scale, as long as a little weight is added to either side, the sky fowl will suddenly tilt. It seems that the second gear mode is a little insufficient, and I have to add some materials, god mode third gear. Seeing this, Ju Kwan smiled honey again, and gently put his finger on early spring Liangji's forehead. Click. In early spring, Liangji was stunned, and her whole body suddenly dramated. Trembling. Shake up. It was as if she had been struck by lightning, and she was not under her control at all. The powerful current, from top to bottom, and from bottom to top, forms an endless cycle. Each cycle seems to have made her experience a death and rebirth. Is that hell? In a trance, she seemed to see hell, and Ju Kwan was constantly cutting tarts on her. If hell was like this, then she would rather sink there. In the next second, Ryoheim had completely lost her mind, and while tearing off her clothes, she shouted in an almost pleading tone, Conquer me, I want you to conquer me fiercely. Quote, As you wish, but you must remember that you took the initiative to ask me to conquer, don't regret it. After Ju Kwan finished speaking, he fiercely pushed his waist forward. Three days and three nights. Well, it is not an exaggeration, it is indeed three days and three nights. For the first four hours, it was always early spring Liangji who took the initiative to ask to be conquered, and he didn't even let Ju Kwan pull away from her for a distance. But by the eighth hour, early spring Liangji was already overwhelmed, and tactfully told Ju Kwan to stop. 
because she vaguely felt that something was wrong. Although she had never experienced the relationship between men and women before, she had never heard of a man who could go eight hours without rest. However, Ju Quan had already made up his mind to let this woman suffer a little, how could he let her get her wish? And he also wanted to see, where is the limit of this woman? So as if he hadn't heard it, Ju Quan continued to conquer the early spring Liangji. By the 24th hour, that is, when the whole day had passed, the euphemism of early spring Liangji had been turned into a direct plea, and she was restless, struggled. But how could Ju Quan let go of this? Instead, he fixed the early spring Ryokheim, like a toy, and continued to play happily. By the next day, Ryoheim had changed from pleading to crying, and her voice was crying, dumb. Although the self-healing ability of the immortal body can quickly restore her voice, it can't stop her from shouting all the time. On the third day, early spring Liangji was completely paralyzed like mud. She had no strength to breathe anymore except for a few meaningless whimpers from her throat from time to time and the pleading in her eyes. In early spring, Liangji's body had already exhausted the energy and could not recover himself. In other words, her immortal body has been temporarily invalidated. If Ju Quan continues like this, her end can only be to be vented alive. Now that Liang Ji in early spring is completely surrendered, if she is given another chance, I am afraid that she will definitely not play a little clever in front of Ju Quan. It seems that you have reached the limit and fully realized the mistake, then I will let you go for the time being this time. Ju Quan broke out for the last time, and then smiled, announcing the end of this battle. The reason is simple, this woman has been conquered by him because he heard the system tone. Congratulations on the side quest, signs of the mind. Mission reward, 5000 energy, random rope. Random rope, this rope can be extended indefinitely, the surface of the rope can be rough or silky, can follow the user's wishes, and perform various difficult binding methods on the target, when the bound target is of the opposite gender, it will trigger a passive effect, it cannot be broken. This kind of unrestrained prop is really very systematic. Ju Quan took the rope in his hand and sighed again with a familiar emotion. But since he got the props, then he definitely wants to use them, as for the use of targets. Isn't there a ready-made candidate right now? Thinking of this, Ju Quan curled the corners of his mouth and looked down. After the last experience of Ryoheim in early spring, she didn't even have a look. At this moment, she rolled her eyes, opened her mouth weakly, looked like she was played badly, and obviously fainted. However, with the immortal body of Liangji in early spring, as long as she has energy replenishment, she can recover quickly. This kind of thing is the most lacking thing in Juquan. So under the chakra provided by Juquan, the immortal body of early spring Ryoheim was activated again, quickly recovering her wear and tear, and soon there were signs of waking up. Finally, Early spring Liangji's eyelids moved, and she slowly opened her eyes. Who knew that as soon as she opened her eyes, she saw Ju Quan's playful smile. The memory before fainting instantly came to her mind. She had never known that a person could be so strong. The man in front of him is not only shockingly powerful, but even unmatched in that aspect. In the past three days and nights, she has lost count of how many times she has been to heaven and how many times she has been to hell. The constant interweaving of pleasure and pain made her love and hate it. But in any case, early spring Liangji's heart is very clear that he may have sunk into it and completely conquered by this man. Name, Ju Quan. Subject, Infinite Regeneration, Majin Bu Physique, Absorption and Division, Control Cell Form, Independent Cultivation. Abilities, Use of Qi, Turtle Qigong, Dance Void Technique, Three-Tailed Complete Body Ability, Nine-Tailed Yin Chakra Ability, White Eye, Kaleidoscope Writing Wheel Eye, Reincarnation Eye, Tricolor Domineering, Navy Six Style, Eight Doors Done Jaw, Mew Done and God Mode. Energy, 15,000. Slaves, Senju Tsunade, Shizun Kato, Turumi, Yuyan Itsuki, Konan, Ryoheim Early. Disciple, Uchiha, 3, 4, 3, Itachi. Organization Member, Orochimaru. Halfway back on the way back, Ju Quan casually opened his attribute panel and looked at it. Sure enough, the longest row of the list is the list of abilities. Each ability in the ability list, even if taken out separately, is enough to traverse the entire ninja world. But I didn't expect that the system even included the self-created skill, 
God mode, in the ability list, which is too casual. Because of lower level abilities, such as the Hao Fireball technique, Ju Quan will also be able to do it, but it is not shown in the ability list. Obviously, it should be that the Hao Fireball technique is too weak, so it is not eligible to be included in the list. If you say so, is it because the ability of the god model is incomprehensible to any woman, so it is included in the list of abilities? After all, the big boss of the Hokage world, Kegaya, is a woman. The ability that can conquer her is definitely eligible to be included in the ability list. And from this logical point of view, it is also in line with the characteristics of the system without restraint. Ju Quan complained about the system while walking slowly. It's just that for this kind of spit, it is unrestrained and arrogant. The petite system never responded, as if it had died again. Ju Quan, can you untie the rope? At this time, early spring Liangji, who was taking small steps beside him, said with a pale face. God knows what happened to her at that time, Ju Quan actually tied a rope on herself. Originally, tying a rope was nothing, after all, it was hidden in clothes, and the hands and feet were not restrained. If it had been otherwise, she wouldn't. But now it's on the way. After all, the immortal body can only repair her injuries or losses, but it cannot repair her own senses. And I don't know if Ju Quan did it on purpose, the rope is tied very tightly. As a result, she can't walk well now, and can only squeeze small steps forward little by little. It is not so much a rush as a prisoner who is being taken to the execution ground. Well, and it's the kind that suffers alive. This is not okay, say that you will tie the rope back, if you want to untie the rope, then you will be punished for a day. Ju Quan shook his head and said seriously. After that, he also showed a kind smile, but the speed of the road was much faster. Although he and early spring Ryoheim have gone further, this woman is inseparable from herself, but it does not mean that she has completely opened her heart to herself. It's like being with Tsunade, although there was a relationship in the early stage, but it just means that this woman has put her own label. But if you want a woman with a violent personality like Tsunade to completely open her heart, it mainly depends on the efforts of the later stage. Here and now, just like then. Therefore, for the current early spring Liangji, appropriate efforts are particularly important. Thinking of this, Ju Quan silently reduced the tightness of the rope a little more. You're a bad guy. Seeing this, Liangji in early spring opened her eyes and airway. Until now, how could she not know that was deliberately done by Ju Quan? But there is no way, knowing that Ju Quan is correcting herself, she also has to accept it. After all, the time of punishment was only one day, and she could barely hold out for a while before. But the rest of the time is spent in hell. No, no, no. This kind of thing must not happen a second time. Thinking of this, early spring Liangji clenched her silver teeth, felt fierce in her heart, and quickened her pace to follow. The two of them stopped and walked all the way, and by the time they arrived in Konoha, it was already dusk. At this moment, Ryoheim in early spring was squatting next to a large tree outside Konoha, and instead of getting up, he kept inhaling. It was clear that she only had a short distance left to enter Konoha, but she couldn't move her steps. Along the way, she has been paralyzed several times, and the arduous process is self-evident. Knowing this, she might as well accept the special punishment of that day. Anyway, the same sin, the latter can make her happy for at least four hours. Hurry up, go back at this time, and you can catch up with dinner. After Ju Quan finished speaking, he walked behind Ryoheim in early spring with a honey smile on his face, and lifted the rope around her neck. As the so-called pulling a trigger moves the whole body. The mention of Ju Quan directly caused the ropes on and off Liang Ji's body in early spring to passively move upward. Even the knot under the early spring Liang Ji slammed upwards, causing her to scream softly. Let go. In this case, I want to. Before the words were finished, Liang Ji in early spring was in a trance, and once again collapsed to the feet of Ju Quan. Let me see, from the time of departure, it has been the 29th time so far. Ju Quan took out a small book, carefully filled in another stroke on it, and then showed an encouraging smile and continued, Come on, it will be 30 times soon, we must continue to work hard. Quote, Don't rush, force me to use my hands to get together 30 times. When Liang Ji heard this, he replied angrily, 
Yes, yes, you have a point. Zhu Quan casually made a wooden lounge chair, and after lying on it, he continued, Anyway, now there is only me as an audience, so it is better for you to perform how to get together 30 times with your hands. Quote. You, you, you're the bad guy. Quote. Early spring Liangji stared at her beautiful eyes, holding back for a long time before she held back such a sentence. Self-comforting this kind of thing, her royal sister in her twenties will definitely do. But she has always solved it secretly, and even more so a man watches. Although Ju Quan had seen her countless times in the previous three nights, if she was allowed to perform this kind of thing in front of Ju Quan, she really couldn't do it. Moreover, she said before to count with her hands, which is obviously angry, but what kind of expression is Ju Quan's face to see the play? Early spring Liang Ji was very puzzled, she was the sect leader before. How do you feel that Ju Quan is worse than her sect leader? If you don't want to perform, just stand up and keep walking. Zhu Quan thought about it and suddenly changed his mind. After three days and three nights of letting go, he also felt hungry and urgently needed food to fill it. As for Liangji's performance in early spring, it was only a matter of time before it came anyway, and there was no need to watch it hungry. An hour later, Zhu Quan finally returned home with Ryoheim in early spring. It was obviously only a very short distance, but it was tenfold extended by the early spring Liangji. During this period, she finally reached the 30th time. But fortunately, for early spring Ryoheim, everything is over. As Ju Quan withdrew the random rope, she felt relaxed. You're back, it's just to eliminate a cult organization, how did it go for so long this time? Quote. As soon as he entered the door, there was Xiao Nan's curious question. Ju Quan calculated and went out for a total of four days. Three of them were spent on Ryoheim in early spring, and one day was spent on the road. So strictly speaking, he wiped out the cult altogether, well, less than half an hour. After calculating the time, Zhu Quan just wanted to answer, but was preempted by Liang Ji in early spring. What is a cult? After Liang Ji entered the door in early spring, she said dissatisfied. Before meeting Zhu Quan, her cult also had tens of thousands of villains. Although most of them are rabble, there are also many ninjas who are stronger. Taken together, even if her cult is not as good as the five major ninja villages, it is many times stronger than some small ninja villages. Unexpectedly, in the mouth of this seemingly cold woman, it was described as, just a cult. Such a description made early spring Liangji unacceptable, so she went back without hesitation. Oh, a woman, no wonder it took so long. Quote, Xiao Nan saw the early spring Liangji who came in behind, and said with a sudden understanding. This woman is too demon-looking. Flattering, looks like a vixen. There is also a special smell on the body, which smells very fresh. Well, it should have just leaked. No, no, this woman is too coquettish. Don't look at Xiao Nan's face still looks cold, but his heart is not calm at all. From the moment early spring Liangji entered the door, she had been silently analyzing the other party's intelligence. After all, she accepted Yi Kang, but it didn't mean that she could also accept the early spring Liangji who didn't seem to get along with. What do you think with that frigid expression? Early spring Liangji smiled, but her tone showed her unhappiness. As a shadow level powerhouse, and a nearly single-handedly invincible existence in the shadow level, she is not afraid of Xiao Nan. The premise is that if Zhu Quan does not make a move. Thinking of this, early spring Liangji was a little uncertain. Because she still didn't know what the relationship between Xiao Nan and Zhu Quan was, she turned her head and asked suspiciously, Zhu Quan, who is this woman? Quote, she is Xiao Nan, according to her age, you are a little older than her, but if you are in order, Xiao Nan is your sister. Zhu Quan rubbed his chin and explained seriously. After a slight pause, he introduced Xiao Nan again. Her name is early spring Liangji, and she is the leader of the cult that I went to eliminate this time. Quote, Whoever wants to call her sister, even if she wants to call, she should call me sister. When Liangji heard this, he muttered dissatisfied. At the same time, he sighed in his heart, Zhu Quan really had something to do with this woman named Xiao Nan. In this way, her desire to fight Xiao Nan was frustrated. So it is, but the cult is gone, and now that this woman has been brought back by you, it should be considered a trophy, right? Xiao Nan did not show weakness, and still looked back with a cold expression. 
She is not afraid of fighting, even if she faces a shadow level powerhouse, she can't help her to have paper. Because even if she can't beat her, she can also take the form of an angel, and then fly into the sky and throw an explosive charm below. Don't be so angry, be careful to hurt your body. Seeing this, Ju Quan did not lose his heart at all, and also showed a honey smile. He has never worried about a fire in the harem or something. After all, as the saying goes, there is no such thing as one shot, and if there is, it is two shots. And if Xiao Nan and early spring Liangji compete for favor, they will definitely find a way to take it. Yu Ju Quan. So for Ju Quan, as long as the two of them don't make too much trouble, then why not do it himself? It's just that when he saw Ju Quan smile, the confrontation between Liangji and Xiao Nan in early spring was extinguished. That smile was all too familiar to them. Whenever Ju Quan shows this kind of smile, it represents all kinds of shameful tweaking or endless felling tarts. Although it is worth remembering afterwards, the accompanying torture is also unforgettable. Meanwhile, the Hokage office. Watergate looked at the two secret letters that had just been delivered in front of him and looked sad. This scene just happened to make Nara Shikaku, who was preparing to go home, find out, so he asked a little puzzled, Naruto sama, what happened? Quote, as Hokage's wisdom tank, in Nara Shikahisa's opinion, it seems that nothing major has happened in Konoha recently, except for the poor point. Even the cult that had caused chaos in the Land of Fire not long ago had already entrusted Jukwon. Because of this, Naruto-sama also used up a precious favor. Wait, Jukwon shot. Nara Shikaku suddenly thought of something, and hurriedly asked, shouldn't it be a matter of the cult? Quote, well, it's worthy of Luju, I guessed at once that the cult has been completely wiped out. Watergate nodded, indicating that this was the matter. Completely wiped out, what about the tens of thousands of cults? Quote, Nara Shikahisa noticed the unusual and asked again. According to intelligence, the base camp of the cult was blown up into a basin, and the tens of thousands of sect members have all been blown up. Watergate shook his head helplessly and replied with a bitter face. Sure enough, things can be big now. Nara Deer was shocked for a long time, and his face was also sad. According to the original plan, they just wanted to entrust Juquan to take action to wipe out the backbone of the cult, and the rest of the sect scattered and went home. After all, it was tens of thousands of people, and the vast majority were people from the Land of Fire. But I didn't expect that as soon as Juquan made a move, he directly killed him. This is definitely a big deal for the Fire Nation. One can imagine how furious the daimyo of the Fire Nation would have been if he knew about this. It's more than that, the daimyo of the Fire Nation already knows, you see, even the secret letter has been sent. Watergate shook one of the secret letters, which was impressively stamped with the seal of the daimyofu. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.